What's up guys, it's Heineman. And we're back with Lifeless Planet. Not back, I guess I should say this is the uh, first time I've ever even loaded the game up. Um, I've wanted to play this for a long time. I looked at a website, I think it's like How Long Gaming or something like that. And I think this is supposed to be an 8-10 to 10 hour game. So I don't know if I'll get through all of it today. I'm going to push really hard to do it. Uh, but it just depends on how I like it, uh, etc. But uh, it's a sci-fi game. Uh, let's see what we can tell here from the cover. Uh, well, it's a lifeless planet, so I'm going to guess that it is not Earth. I'm going to guess that it is a different planet. Looks like uh, there are some power lines, uh, lots of sand and dust. The sign on the P is going to suggest that uh, we are possibly a Russia. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Um, let's just jump right in. Uh, I do need to get Revlobot in. So let's, uh, let's do that real quick. How is that tab not open on my phone? Okay, Revlo should now be here. Um, I want to make sure the Twitch broadcast is working correctly. Uh, da, 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 da. All right, let's just hit that. Let's go. Let's go. All right, so as you can tell, I've never played this game before. Um, new game, options, switch profile, uh, bright and dark areas. Uh, there doesn't seem to be subtitles, so maybe there will be subtitles automatically. Controls are basic on the joysticks. A is jump, X is interact. Walk is left bumper. Is that not just move? Uh, our tablet is B. Right bumper is flashlight. Zoom is pretty standard. Mobile robotic arm is Y. Okay. St extending arms are the triggers. And then we can grab with X. So it seems pretty, pretty basic to say the least. The way she used to smile. She would keep going. The kindness in her voice. I can't give up hope. So I'm wondering if this game is, he might be searching for a lost loved one. I'm not sure. He's got the picture there. Or maybe that's his inspiration to stay alive. I'm not sure. Okay, he's leaving Earth. What's up, Chaos? Good morning. What's up, Yes? How's everybody on this fine Sunday morning? Alright, so we are on another planet. We left Earth. I have no idea which planet. Um, Alright, so we are on a planet. This is our pod. I can move. I can jump. Oh, this already feels fantastic, dude! Dude, this is awesome. Okay, what do we want to discover? What do we want to look up? Um. Oh, my head is killing me. It feels like I have a concussion. Where's my crew? Okay, so I thought he was going to be Russian, but he doesn't sound Russian at all. Uh, hard landing. Uh, his head is foggy, the sound of breath puffing, and his helmet is hollow in distance. It's hard to tell how long I've been unconscious, and I'm worried that I might have a concussion. I wish I could lay back down and rest, see if the pain passes, but the situation is far too critical. To call that a hard landing would be kind. We crashed. Maybe the eggheads miscalculated the trajectory, or maybe we just hit a spell of bad luck. Whatever the case may be, this is not the paradise they described for us back home. There's no lush greenery, there's no sign of life at all. And where is my crew? I hope they're just securing a perimeter, and that was only for a few minutes. I need to find them, get their status, and figure out just what in the heck happened. 
crap. And I need to do it before I run out of air. Okay. Um, so we've got documents, log, and science. Well, this features a holographic display surface for extra portability and versatility. The Holotab 3000 is the latest in tablet technology. Holotab automatically scans and translates text written in over 800 languages. In addition, this device may be used to compose and store mission log entries. All right, so that's what happened when I got to the ship. Uh, so as you can see on the pod, there's different flags. The United States, Germany, Japan, and that looks like the United Nations flag. Um, it's called ISSA. Uh, the tablet is the B button. Uh, oh, I saw something shiny over here. Let's go this way. What is the what is that? I, this is actually pretty cool. New objective, you're low on oxygen. Find oxygen supply before you pass out. Alright. Oh what the I have a little like double jump booster. You can't hold it, but you can tap it. Get there. Get there. Give me oxygen. I've been a good kid. Give me oxygen. Oh, oh this give Okay, we have eight hours of oxygen re remaining. That's an oxygen supply vehicle. Okay. Um, I would say we just keep going this way. For the most part, uh, it looks... It looks like it's a big expanse game, but I'm really thinking that uh, it's going to be pretty linear. What up, Nick? Dude, I saw the f I got the email of your follow last night. I, understand the I appreciate that, man. Like thanks for hitting uh, thanks for hitting like on my Facebook page and coming in this morning, dude. I appreciate that. We'll be traveling so fast our spacecraft will arrive at the planet before the transmission of this interview does. But it's still such a long trip. We'll be put into a sort of coma. Our heart rate will be slowed dramatically to minimize aging during the flight. How do you prepare for this one-way mission, knowing you want There's an interview. It's telling us some backstory right now. Well, I have a volunteer crew of very skilled and focused individuals. We all have a deep desire to explore, to go somewhere new. And frankly, we also have few attachments here on Earth. Huh, okay. This is a weird artifact-looking thing. Uh, but let's just go through this canyon. I can only assume this is where we're supposed to go. By the way, just saying thank you to everybody for hanging out this morning. Chaos for being a good mod. Okay, uh, so, looks like, let's see if I can make this jump. Oh, yeah, let's go. All right, we're in the foothills, apparently. I would be extra nervous if this was real life that I'd be so far away from an oxygen machine. Oh, oh, sh oh, I, sh I failed that jump. Um, crap. All right. Um, I guess we're going to backtrack through this cave. can't remember if it said I had a flashlight or not. That's the tablet. And yeah, that's how you like, adjust the camera. Um, I texted Jeremy on Friday, Nick, but he didn't respond. And I haven't talked to Chris since last Saturday. Oh, crap. Fail. Sorry, this is our first jumping puzzle. This looks like this is going to be like a fun little platformer. Alright, so what is our guess here? Do you think that we are on Mars or a, another planet, like in a different solar system? Because it almost kind of looks like we're on Mars, but it doesn't really say, so we could be anywhere. I actually think we're probably not on Mars. I think we're probably in a different solar system. Um, how do we get over there on... Yeah, I think they'd be calling it Mars if we were on Mars. So, 
Anyway, let's read this real quick. I was following a trackway left behind by my crew, but got separated from their trail. Hopefully, I can make my way around. In the meantime, I still can't understand why this planet is barren and lifeless. Our remote observations were conclusive. This planet was rich with life. So where did it go? Maybe we just dropped in the wrong spot, but initial readings aren't coming up with any trace of biological activity. All right, did I miss like a, a path through the mountains over here? Oh God. No, I didn't. Okay, so we just need to keep going. This is pretty linear. I think I'm overthinking it a little bit. So. At least my jetpack works. Well, mostly. Jetpack functional. Everything about the mission is a disaster so far. The lander took a beating and with it most of the equipment. My suit is functional but barely. The jetpack can still put out a single burst, which we already know that. Which is useful for short jumps. I find it gives them blah 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 blah. Yeah, we know that game. We've we've been using this jetpack. We hey. Oh, oh, oh. It's actually kind of hard to control, believe it or not. I've made it through this once and then I doubled back because I thought I missed a cave or something. Alright. Pro jumping, let's go. If we can do destiny jumping puzzles, we can do this, right? Oh, 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 it's so sensitive. Alright, we made it. We made it. Alright, so... I thought that we'd be able to like jump that little gap there, but apparently not. Let's just move forward. Make sure we're not missing anything. Um, there is water on this planet, so it can't be Mars then, right? Can't be. It just can't be. All right. I need to get up there somehow. That's what I said. Oh, okay. I think we can grab things in this game. Let's try. Let's try something fancy here. That didn't work. Hmm. Let's try to come back around over here. Oh, 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 look at this. All right. We're figuring things out. Excellent. Okay, let's come back around. All right. Oh, I over jumped it. Ugh, but that is what we want. So we're going to be able to push that rock. We'll jump on that rock and we'll get up on the cliff. Excellent. Uh, this is on the Xbox One. This is my Xbox at my apartment. I am going to build a gaming computer at some point, Nick, and play some other games, but that costs money that I don't quite have yet. Alright. So we got through that little puzzle. Nick, are you playing any games these days? I know you were you were about COD and you were about Destiny for a little bit. Let's see here. Hold on. We can go left or we can go right. I think this right way is a little more of a secret maybe. So I'm going to go this way. I'm, I'm all about the secrets. Oh, what is this? What is this yellow thing? Uh, we just found sulfur. This is in our science part of our tablet. A nice specimen of the ninth most common element in the universe. This particular mineral is quite large and suggests a, sed a sedimentary origin associated with the ancient marine deposits. I can only imagine the vast oceans that might once have covered this planet. Ooh, Hearthstone. I need to get into that game. Oh, look. Look at a waterfall. All right. I don't know if we're where I'm supposed to be, but I'm going to keep rolling this way. I think we went the right way, but 
Sure would be fun to play in that waterfall. Alright. Man, I love space games. This reminds me of The Martian. I know we're not on Mars at this point, but man. This is fantastic. Alright, what is this? What is this? Is it a... Whoa, whoa. Oh god, avalanche! Jeez. Man, that was almost our first rip of the playthrough. Uh oh, cutscene. Okay, a Russian book. This is basically the intro screen. Alright, so uh, I play a lot of different games. I try to play a lot of indie games. I try to play a lot of games that most people don't see. So I'm always kind of bouncing around. Uh, yesterday I played Fallout. I've been playing a lot of Destiny this last week because of the DLC. And I play a lot of Destiny off-stream. But uh, I, I'm always just trying to bring in something a little different. I've been playing a lot of Ark lately. Um, but, uh, man, I'm always trying to change it up. I'm always trying to find little weird indie games to play. That's the best thing for me, being a smaller streamer. Because if I stream the big games, usually there's so many people already playing them that uh, I just kind of get buried in the mess. So I try to find indie games to play. And I have I have a lot of fun with indie games. So this looks like we found a Soviet base. It's called The Town. Let's see if we can go in any of these buildings. Okay, for 15 years I hung in cryo like a bag of forgotten frozen vegetables. That's what they said anyway. They played us real good with that story they spun. Another planet suitable for housing human life? Can't believe I fell for it. I actually have to compliment them on the lack of oxygen. That's a really nice touch. Of course, they'll probably just tampered with the meters. I bet I could have taken off my helmet right now. Is that what this is? A test to see how long it takes us to break protocol? I'm not some rocket jockey kid playing at being an astronaut. What in the world is the point of all this? And where did they take my crew? I need to stay calm. My head is still spinning from the crash. Probably need a doctor. I bet they think that's funny too. Alright, so it looks like... It looks like... Um, this guy is starting to lose his mind. Alright, it doesn't actually look like I can go in any of these doors... That first one just gave me the message for the whole town, so let's just kind of explore. All right, Nick, we'll see what I see what we can do, man. All right, let's see if I. Do you think I can get on this house? I think, I, dude. Let's try to pro jump this. Oh yeah, let's go. Think we can get on the power line? All right, let's let's do this. Oh, so close. All right. Enough messing around. Alright, we just got uh, our oxygen back up. Anything else in the town we need to look at? Let's look at this uh, Russian flag. Now that is the old Russian flag. That's not the current Russian flag. That is from the old USSR that fell in 1989. Uh, so that that's what really makes this even more interesting is that's communist Russia, not the current uh, semi-dictatorship that Vladimir Putin is. Um, so I guess we're just going to keep moving along. I guess we'll follow the power lines. Maybe we can find a power station and figure out what the heck's going on? Oh, wait. Wait, what is this over here? Wait, what is this? Things I miss. Life has gotten very hard here. I want to go home so much. My brother said I should make a list of things I miss about home. 
I smile when I think about these things. Hopefully we'll be able to go back very soon. Things I miss from home. Uh, don't know that first word. We're going to butcher it. Let's go with Cherbarashka. Laughter. Music. Boo, babushkas. Samar. Medicine. Fresh bread. Milk. His mommy. Auto translated from Russia. I was trying to say that last word with the Russian accent. I think I failed. You know it, Chaos. I love history. I love history. I love politics. I try not to bring it into the channel, but I really do enjoy it. Alright, so this is the cemetery for the town. Um, I'm hoping not everybody's dead. Uh, there's a house over here. I have to... I ha It actually looks more like a mine opening. Oh, I didn't mean to hit B. I've been playing too many other games where I can press B. Alright. I wonder if this is a mine shaft. It's locked. Alright, find both parts of the security code. So we're looking for a security code to get in this door. That is our current objective. I like how this guy moves. I really like this game feels good i'm surprised at how good it feels i thought it was going to be a lot clunkier what is this are they trying to build a pyramid no that, that's part of a broken house all right let's go back to uh plan a which is head to this big structure in the distance uh for those of you that didn't catch it when i first started the stream uh i think this game is about an eight to ten hour game i started about 11 30 the cowboy game is at 7 30 that's exactly eight hours. I could possibly do this in one sitting. That would be a grind for me, but I'm willing to give it a shot because I'm already loving this. I love sci-fi. I love mysteries. I love I love life. I love the game. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh. Why is that? Don't. Hey, sir. Excuse me. Okay, run into the building. Okay, we're safe. Stupid tornado. There you are. Are you okay? Oh, look! Oh, man, this is messed up. Listen, we're almost out of oxygen. I'm pretty low myself, but I'm going to give you everything I can. I think there may be some air canisters in that town. Okay, you're going to be all right now. Just hang in there, buddy. We'll figure this out together, all right? Whoa! Ah! What the? All right, are we tripping? Or did that really happen? Did that, dad? All right, lab security code part A. First half of the code for the Southern Laboratory is 331. In keeping with security protocol, this portion of the security code must be kept separate from the other half of the code. All right, so we found half the code for that building over there. Uh, the the guy disappeared into the ground. Uh, we didn't. So that's interesting. Am I supposed to be up here? I was like half joking. Yeah, that was not supposed to happen. Okay, first half of the code. Um... That was my number one place to look. Uh, should we go back into the town to find more of the code? What do you guys think? That building looks big. I don't know how to get to the second story. Or do you guys think we could find the other half of the code? Is there like a hidden door? Like this is a huge building for one tiny room. Whatever. Whatever game. Now let's check out these rocks. So chaos. What uh, what other thing in history do you like? World War Two. Is it mostly like stuff like that, or do you like all history? You think it's in the town? All right, cool. Let's let's go back to the town. 
One reason I'm excited about that game, Battlefield 1, is I read a book on World War 1. Um, what was it called? I don't know. It's pretty famous. I just can't think of it. Oh, look. There's a valley. New objective. You're low on oxygen. Find oxygen to fly before you pass out. Oh, okay. I know where that is in the town. But I, I like I like the idea of Battlefield 1 just because it's different from World War 2. I like the history of World War 2. I think it's super important. But I get tired of it. I think it's overplayed. I had a really fun Civil War game back in the day. Okay, let's get this oxygen. And then what is this next to it? I wish this guy would shut up so I can read. Alright, I, I really like listening to the, um, like, the story most times, but I'm not going to keep listening to this Russian. Um, so, whatever. Now, we came from that way. There's a valley here. Uh, I probably should read the book, though, that, that that Russian was rambling about. Doctor's Report. It's not doctors. It says directors. <laughs> what an idiot. All right, Director's Report, 6 uh, which is June 25th, of course. Uh, there are no words to emphasize my pride as I begin our experiments here on this new world. Uh, when they described... The green fire to me, it sounded artificial, like something drawn in an animation. To imagine I would lay my eyes on a world so colorful. I'm overwhelmed by its beauty, and now we begin a difficult journey to cultivate this place in the name of the motherland. The government of the West call our intentions aggressive. They do not believe in the sovereignty that is our Soviet Union. But we have seen so many victories. We repelled Germany's aggression and our glorious rise to power and fought with valor to spread the communist ideal to other broken nations. But what we accomplish here will drive the Soviet Union ahead of the entire world without even firing a shot. We will power the entire Soviet Union with what we learn here, and I am the one who will lead us to victory. Okay, so crazy Russian guy has been here apparently. Alright, do we go down into this cave? Is this going to be a rip? This could be a rip. This could be a rip. I'm a little nervous. Rip. It was totally a rip. Hey! At least we tried. Okay. So. We're still looking for the other half of the code. Uh, we can look through the town a little bit better. I still have that last report on my tablet. Excellent. Okay. So we found a mine and it needs a two part code. We've got part one and so now we're just looking for part two. Wait, did a door just open? I can hear something squeaking. Can you guys hear that squeak? It's really faint. Might just be part of the game. False alarm. Now the red house is different. There's one thing that stands out here. It's this red house. Oh look, the red house has got to open. Get up there. Okay, we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to parkour. It's gonna be good. Oh, we can roll this. Oh yeah. Alright. I am the king of over jumping. I am the king. I am the greatest at the failing. Alright, alright, alright. 
Uh, that time I short hopped it. Rookie! Alright, third time's the charm. Everybody says that. Everybody knows. Third time's the charm. Let's go. Oh, uh, that guy's not gonna have cable anymore. Sorry about your cable antenna. Are you... I slipped. I slipped. I made the jump. So, technically, third time was the charm. I just slipped. Alright. Alright. There we go. Oh, oh, over jumped it. All right, lab security code part B. So you can have the code is 549. All right, so now we can go uh, where we want. So let's do it. Um, is there anything else in this house? Food? I mean, maybe some water? Nothing? Okay, got it. Alright, so that house was back over here. So, what we learned from the last uh, Russian book is that at one point this, land, this planet really was full of life. It was very lush. So, something's happened. So, the mystery here is what happened. Alright. We are now in the research complex. By the way, Chaos, how was the visit with the fam? I hope you had a good weekend. This did not look... Wait. Where's the door? This is... This is not what I went into. Alright, whatever. Press right bumper to enable your flashlight. I knew there was a flashlight somewhere. Is this a bed? Mom? Oh, I'm tripping out, man. That was, uh, that was weird. That was trippy. Alright, here we go. I definitely didn't have a roof. Alright, so we're down here in the research complex. Um, let's check this button. There is no power in this area. Find a way to restore the electricity. Alright guys, how are we going to do that? <coughs> Excuse me. Tried to cover the mic. I failed probably. Sorry about that guys. Alright, we're going to need to do some jumping to get into the uh, electrical area. King of the over jumps is here. Way to go, Hein. Okay. We did it. I pressed X. It didn't tell me to, but I just guessed that X would be interact. It worked. This really reminds me of, of like inside when we played that game. Alright, we'll read that in a minute when the speaker shuts up. That is definitely a skeleton. You can, what does it say? You can pick up useful objects with X. Yeah, is that TNT? Did we just find TNT? All right, so I'm, I'm guessing we're about to blow something up. Let's go ahead and read the final report here. Three nights ago, I managed to barricade myself in this room. With any luck, they won't be able to get in here. Of course, all I've done is lock myself into my own tomb. I realize I am near the end. The calls from the other posts have dwindled over the last two days. It's been hours since anyone has responded. I've made peace with the idea of my death, but I wish I didn't have to face it alone. Alright, so... We're gonna blow something up. What do we want to blow up? This. 
this right here. Boom, baby. And so far, this game isn't like overly difficult, and so I'm enjoying it a so lot. Russians found some kind of portal that transported them to this planet. And then things went terribly wrong. Oh, that makes sense. I was wondering how the how the Russians got here. I found my way into some sort of research facility. Came across the skeletal remains of one former lab worker. Documents nearby indicate the Russians built some sort of portal system that led them here. Though I'm still not certain where here is. This place appears to be a colony, like they weren't fully established before something went wrong. Okay. I wonder if that means hospital in Russian. Who knows? Oh, another recording. The virus is spreading faster now. All our efforts to contain it so far have been futile. We haven't given up hope, and however, my colleagues are working tirelessly. We are not dealing with terrestrial species, and thus there is so much we don't know. The challenge is so great, and yet we will prevail. We must prevail. Alright, I'm just going to start talking over the Russians. It'll be like I'm translating it as they're saying. It's going to be epic. Well, this looks nice. Oh. Oh, God, we're tripping balls. I'm telling you, we're crazy. Amazing. With each test we run, her samples appear more promising. I will log more details later. There simply isn't enough time. Alright, there's uh, green footsteps for us to follow here. Oh, it doesn't look so lifeless anymore. Great. I think my mind is playing tricks on me. Alright, my mind is playing tricks on me. I thought for a moment I was back on Earth. After the hallucination passed, I found a human trackway leading out of the underground facility. The footprints glow green for reasons I can't explain. I took some samples, but I haven't had time to analyze. The footprints seem to lead out of the facility, so for now I'm going to follow them, but with caution. Yeah, this bump on the head is really tripping me out. Alright, part of me wants to go through there, but that just seems really silly. Alright. It was pushing us, so that it's creating a wind effect. Um, I can push this. Maybe we can push it through the fan. Clog it up. Clog it up. Clog it up. Don't kill me. Yep, it broke it. Nice. Alright, so we made it through. Now what? Okay. Uh... Let's go over here real quick. Huh. Nothing. Need to find a way to turn this on. A way to turn this on. Uh, is that a switch? Did I turn it on? Do I have to hold the button? Okay, yeah. Nice and slow. Alright, we got an elevator. It's going to be the best elevator ever. Alright, go, go, gadget. Go. Oh, here we go. Couldn't figure out how to make it work. I was like, uh... 
Uh oh, music's getting intense. Music's getting intense. Uh, I don't like that. I don't like the looks of this. Uh. Uh. All right, left or right? I think we're gonna have to go left. All right, there's a there's a tunnel here. Doesn't look like anything's in it, but I'm getting in here anyway. Look at me, I'm Mario. I don't know. I just like to climb things. I know I probably shouldn't, but. Na -na -na -na. The music in this game is good. I give the music a 10 out of 10. Game so far is pretty solid. I'm I'm definitely enjoying myself. All right. We're going to have to look up the creator of this game after the stream. Do a little tweet out at him. Say I like your game, bro. I like your games. All right. Um we're definitely going to have to make it up there. It's probably our objective. How are we going to do it? Is a different question. I really feel like we need to go right. So I went left first to make sure we don't miss anything. Oh, look at this. We've actually made it up this. I don't see anything right in here. Yeah, I still think we need to go to the right. I don't think there's any fall damage in this game. But, uh, I mean, we do have a jetpack that only lasts like half a second. So, I guess that almost makes sense. I still want to know what this green stuff is. Here's a talking... I've located an abandoned mining operation. The rocks appear to share the same phos phosphorus. I know how to say that word. I know how to say this word. Phosphorescent properties of the human footprints I'm following. I suspect there's some radiation involved here. Not sure if this area is safe, so I'm moving on. Follow the green footprints as best I can. Okay, cool. Nothing in there. Stage 2 Studios. What else have they made? If if you are free, don't feel obligated. It's like jumping. I love games that make me jump. Alright. Alright, we can make this jump. We can do this. Don't screw it up, Hein. Uh, we didn't screw it up. That's amazing. I thought for sure we were going to rip... All right, we made it. Let's see here. There's a building. Uh, there's more uh, electrical lines, which means there's going to be a power station again or something. All right, now, so far it's pretty linear, so we just got to keep going. This area is called the Chasm, or for those that don't pronounce it correctly, the Chasm. So we don't want to fall. If we fall, we're going to get rested in pepperonis. So far, so good, though. Oh, there's a person. Uh, is it a lady? It is a lady. Yo, lady! No, no, don't run away! Look, I need to talk to you!
I'm American. And I know you probably don't like Americans, but I'm a friendly American. I bet she doesn't even know English. A vivid hallucination. I'm not alone on this planet. All right, guys. What is our guess? Are we alone on this planet or are we hallucinating? I really want to go with hallucinating, but I mean, why would he know Russian? Why would he know Russian? All right, let's pick up this recording. Despite the hesitation of our scientists, I increased the kilowatt output of our electrical generators by 200% without any noticeable environmental reaction. The reproductive rate of the mass-like species we call the green fire appears to be quite high, and we theorize that it must also serve as a source of nutrients for the other planet life on the planet. To alleviate the concerns of the scientists, I've returned the generators to normal output, but the result, illegible, find myself wondering if the abundance of power is not, in and of itself, a deterrent of warfare. Would our enemies lower their weapons if they knew our reactors would never power down? What level, what level of accomplishment would they feel in their flag on the moon if they all could see looking back at the earth was a continuous glow of the mighty Soviet Union? Nuclear weapons seem like the clubs of barbarians compared to the scientific potential we have seen here. More families are arriving to be with the men. Our society blossoms into an extension of the motherland. A new motherland. This is what the great writers of our age must have felt while regarding their creations. Dude, the Russians are crazy. The Russians are crazy. Alright. Let's keep going. By the way, hello Z, lurk away. Appreciate you giving us a view while you do other things in life. All right, let's see here. Um, left or right? Left? Secrets? Any secrets? Give me a secret. Nothing? Alright, no cream. Alright, so... So far, like, I haven't locked a single achievement. I haven't found any, like, super duper secrets. But I'm okay with that. Oh, there's that chick. How'd she get up there? That can't be safe. Yo! What is a good r female Russian name? I'm trying to think. Um, Pietra. We could call her Pietra. But I, I don't really want to call her that. What is another really good Russian name? Am I the modern man? I do not know. I don't think we can climb this. Or if we can, I don't know if I'm skilled enough to jump this. This is going to be really hard. Slovenia? Isn't that a country or is that really a name? Oh, son of a biscuit. Alright, screw that. If she wants to climb up a tower, she can just stay there. You know. Alright, uh, I guess we're working our way down the mountain. We're ignoring the girl on the power line. I will call her Pietra Slavinia, and we don't, or maybe that's her last name, Pietra Slavinia. She is Miss or Mrs. Slavinia. First name Petra, but I don't really like that too much. So we're gonna call her Mrs. Slavinia. Maybe she's a beauty pageant winner. I don't know. I don't judge people. Okay. <laughs> oh. Okay, what is this? What is this? What is this red stuff? Huh? Is it like... Is it strawberry jam? Can I eat it? My character's gotta be hungry by now. Usually we find like scientific files on this kind of stuff. 
Uh, so far, we d have not. All right. All right, well, that was just some mystery minerals. At least that's what we're going to call it. Let's see here. What else is going on? Alright. Man, this guy's got really good knees. Or he, he had really good knees, and he's not going to have good knees after this adventure. Alright. Hopefully we're going the right way. I, I really don't know what we're doing. I'm not going to go that way, unless there is something to read. And I don't see anything to read. Oh, looks like we are going this way. Fine, have it your way, game. Have it your way. Uh, it looks like we might uh, be climbing back up right here. All right, we're doubling back around. What about our actual character? What is our character's name? So far, we are a kind of silent protagonist. Protagonist? Oh, sweet oxygen. Jetpack fuel collected. Extended boost mode enabled. We got it. We got an achievement finally. All right, time to try out this new jetpack. Oh, uh, just got another achievement. Adventure. Make a long and difficult jump with the jetpack. Alright, so you can't hold the button. You have to spam it. Alright, whatever. Uh, we decided he is from the US. We He is like a Nick. Um, or a George. Or a Jeremy. You know, something like that. But what name do we really want to give him? Oh! We got an achievement for that though. Die from a hard fall. Wow. And we got something in our book right when we fail. Alright, Alamedine Garnets. Further samples of garnets confirmed they are of the alamedine variety. Common on Earth, but these are atypically large. Rock matrix is metamorphic, likely caused by mountain building, again suggesting an active geological past for this planet. We're going to call him Randy Roland. I don't hate that. Believe it or not, I don't hate that. All right. I almost broke my legs again. All right, this time we're not going to we're not going to screw this up. Now, I don't know if there was anything else down here, but we might as well come back since we died. Okay. Um I think that's everything that we were supposed to find over here. We got 3 achievements in a short amount of time. So I'm happy about that. Uh, should we go back and climb the the power line to get to that chick now that we have a better jetpack? What is our what is our main objective right now? Do we climb like every mountain? My vote is to go back to the power lines after I try this jump one more time. Oh, yeah. Alright, no, we're going this way. We're going this way. Crap. I have no idea where I'm going. 
I can't make that jump. I just can't do it. All right. Should we go middle rock and then the left? Or should we just go left? <sighs> YOLO in it. YOLO! Nice. Nice. Here we go. Alright. Man, I like this upgraded jetpack a lot. This is... This is what dreams are made of. Okay, so I'm thinking we're going to climb up this power line and we're going to double back to where we think the chick is. But there's also a green path this way. So many decisions right now. Yeah, I'm going up the power pole. I'm going up the power pole. All right, let's wish me all the luck. I've decided this is not the correct way to go. But we've already started, and once we start something, we're going to finish it. And we're done. Son of a bee. Alright. I really wanted that to work. Alright. We are continuing on our quest through this planet. There's another beautiful waterfall. Usually where there's water there is life. They recently um, decided that you can have methane based life, you know all life here on earth is uh, based on a different uh, biological framework, but recently in labs they've discovered that methane based life, only methane, no oxygen um, is possible and they also, the same week I read that, talked about the liquid water ocean of Titan, one of the moons of Jupiter or Saturn. I can't, I can't remember which. Uh, there's a good chance there could be some kind of micro uh, life there. So it's really exciting to. Oh God, we just broke the game. We just broke the game. Rip. I really don't think we're supposed to climb these power poles. It is Saturn? Yeah. One of Saturn's moons has got a, uh, a, an ocean with life. I mean, they've been actually theorizing about that for a long time, but I think they're getting closer to, like, this is for real. We've got proof. Alright. I gotta stop trying to climb these things. Because I don't think that's ever going to like be a thing. I just want to do it, you know. I just want to... That's my Everest. Those power lines, those are my Everest. Okay. Oh, look at these rocks. These red garnets. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I don't know a whole lot about geology. Geology, for some reason, in school, I always struggled with. It's a rock, alright? It's just a rock. Alright. Okay, don't look down. Don't look down. Alright, so we got to the top of Everest. We are like a bird on a power line right now. I'm nervous. I'm extra nervous. Gotta be real gentle on these controls. I've got the oldest of controllers. So, I was thinking about this last night. It's year three of Destiny. 
and I have my original Xbox controller. I have many friends that are on two, three, maybe even their fourth controller. And I'm still on my first. It. This is not planet Earth. Bro, we know this isn't planet Earth. We know that. And what confirmed that now this wasn't Earth? What? What? What's his name again? Randy? Randy? Get your crap together, bro. Alright, Randy. You don't fall. Don't you do it. I'm, I'm extra nervous. I think I'm overthinking it right now. But I just don't want to do it. Alright. Skirt, skirt, skirt. I'd probably be going this slow in real life too. Like, I also think if this was real life, these cords might be a little bit more bendy. But the bigger power lines like this might be really strong cables you could walk on. I'm not 100% sure. But I know regular power lines you can't just walk on. I'm pretty sure they would kind of curve uh, uh, Randy sir are you drunk Randy quit drinking you're an astronaut damn it okay. I think we're supposed to jump down soon we made it guys we made it all the way Is that a dog? False alarm. It was not a dog. I thought I saw a dog. It was not a dog. Man, I just want to break this rock though. I bet it's worth a lot. Uh, uh, da, da, da. Oh, it's 12.30? NFL football is on. Not going to be watching a lot of that today. But... Good luck, fantasy football players. Okay. We're doing this again. We climbed our Everest and we found another one. Oh, there's a water station, though. That's going to be exciting. Okay. Everest 2. Everester. It looks like there's some paths um, that maybe I'm missing. Should we go down there? Jetpack fuel depleted. Extended boost mode disabled. Oh, get real game. What? It just took our jetpack away. We worked really hard for that. Missed. Rip. Well, Randy, you had quite the adventure. Wow, the camera just screwed me. The camera just screwed me. Alright, uh, I do have a plan B. I actually have a plan B and a plan C. Plan B is to get on the railing still try the same jump that I'm trying huh. uh, yes yeah, suck it what up HW what up bro <laughs> oh god oh we broke the game Oh, good. Excellent. It could have been a lot worse. Alright, we've made it down here. I want to go down to the left. I thought I saw a pathway down to the left earlier. There's like a, uh, a Mario pipe. 
I want to go check out. By the way, HW, I decided I probably will be playing Ark some again next week. But it won't be till uh, tomorrow afternoon. Hopefully not everybody in the tribe is dead. Alright, we made it into the Mario pipe. I think we're making it to the... Um, that water dam looking thing. Water hydro... Hydroelectric power plant. Those... That's what those are called. Okay, that pipe isn't connected very well. Wow, this game is really cool. I don't know why. I just love space and like exploration and this game is like fairly relaxing in a weird way alright let's try this I didn't mean to hit B false alarm is, is that a chick in front of us or is that just a door now, if you're an astronaut, can you swim? Or is all the equipment that is on your back too heavy and you just sink? That's the question that I have. Oh, come on. Man, I thought I had that. Oh, am I supposed to be here? All right, let's go to the other side. I'm not quite sure. You think it would be heavy? I kind of agree. I think you could swim for like a couple strokes and then you would just struggle. Man, I don't really see what to do here. Oh, there might be a path right here on the right. Okay. Luck is on our side. Z thinks we should try it. Alright. Alright, here we go. This is for you, Z. This is for you, Z. Geronimo! Oh, that is not water. Mm -mm. That's acid. We just got burned in a river of acid. Hey, at least we tried it. Now we know. This lifeless planet has acid rivers. Oh, too far. Okay. No more jumping in the acid river. I feel like we're flying through this game. I think it's supposed to be an eight hour game. I, I bet we do it shorter. So we're killing it. Uh, as I say that, this looks, this looks, this looks sketchy. This looks sketchy. No, I don't want to die. Hmm. Did I miss something? I might have missed something at that gate. Oh, the path goes to the left. <laughs> Way to go, Hein. The further into the game, though, the, the fewer... And far between are the little Russian recordings, it seems. I'm okay with, I guess. It adds to the mystery of what the heck is going... Oh, is this a dead end? We're going to have to make some jumps right here.
Oh, I didn't know we were going to make that. That was tough. Okay. Sweet. All right, first try. Didn't over jump or short hop any of that. G freaking G. All right, we're at a new building. It's called the Power Station. We haven't seen the Mystery Girl in a while, which bothers me. Uh, that's a big light switch. Oh, recording. What's up, Mocha? The mobile robotic arm is finally working. We discovered that additional batteries were rendered inoperable within proximity of the structures. Then a junior technician suggested we use the green fire itself as a power source uh, for the arm. After weeks of work, we finally succeeded. The arm actually draws power from the structure, a perfect solution to the impasse. All right, yeah, sure. All right, what do we have here? I'm loving it, Mocha. This is right up my alley. Like, this is this is my kind of game. Alright, so now we have a mobile robotic arm. Um, trying, to trying to figure out how to use it. Incredible power. We were fortunate when we arrived that this planet was not dependent on us to develop its resources into usable power systems. In fact, there was already a network of devices capable of providing all of our power needs. Despite the oddity of their appearance and construction, that we quickly claimed as our own. Curiously though, the control systems to activate these devices appeared to be designated, oh, designed for a very tall being, much larger than a human or anything else we've encountered since our arrival. Shut up, Russian. Regardless, our brilliant engineers quickly devised a cre creative robotic solution. With this mechanical arm, we were able to reach greater heights, enabling us to operate the requisite components without requiring architectural solutions to accomplish the same feat. Still, the reason for the height of these control systems remains baffling. Were there visitors to this planet before us? Or could there really be life beyond the vegetation? I did play Inside. I played Inside uh, two or three days after it was released. It was a great show. I think I had like 30 people watching at one point. I think that's where I may met Z artwork, believe it or not. All right, how do I use this robotic arm? All right. Um, I guess I automatically have it. So, whatevs. I guess we'll figure that out when we need to. I quit opening the tablet with B, Heinemann. I really thought it was Y, for some reason, to use the robotic arm. Should be in options, but we'll figure that out. Alright, let's get this going. Really, your husband's the one that found the stream. You know what? You need to give him an extra big high five today, Z. The biggest of the high fives. Okay. By the way, uh, there's there's a guy that follows me on Twitch, but he doesn't have a Twitch account, but he has an Xbox account. His name is Nacho Cheese, and he, he always hits like on my activity, and he's always uh, a really good background viewer. I just want to give him a quick shout out. Thanks for all the uh, support, bro. Structure appears to draw power from that green rock. Okay, I've come across what appears to be a power station of some sort. An array of Tesla coils surrounds mysterious monolithic structure. The entire apparatus seems to draw its power from a glowing green rock inside the monolith, which levitates and pulses with energy. Cool. We might have to look at the options here in a second because I don't know how to use this new robotic arm that I have. options 
Okay, claw cam is right stick, grab is X, extend arm is right trigger, and retract arm is left trigger. Move more robotic arm is Y button. It should be Y. It should be Y. Huh. Maybe we just can't actually use it yet. Oh, here we go. What I just do? I can hear something. Oh, oh, oh! There's the elevator. Go, 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 go. All right, so we made it up the elevator. Um, should we jump to those coils? I don't think so. That sounds like an instant death. If we still had uh, more of the power supply, I would say try it. But at this point, no. Are those footprints? Those are just rocks. What if it was, spoiler alert, rock footprints? Uh, by the way, Z... Thanks for tweeting out our gameplay today. Appreciate that. Okay. What is this? Oh, we're using our robotic arm. Okay. Uh, what? I need to adjust my camera angle. I can't, can't see what I'm doing. Hold on. Wait, what? Go this way. This is kind of weird. Am I going for the rock? Oops. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to hit that button. I didn't mean to do that. Alright, let's try this again. See, first I thought I was going in the hole. Like this. But that doesn't seem to be what I'm doing. What if we put the rock into the hole? Right? Oh, yeah, we got it now. We got it now. We did it. Got an achievement for that. Amidextrous. Solve a puzzle with a robotic arm. Yeah, buddy, rolling like a big shot. No, 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 no. No game. That's a bad game. I was trying to use the Y button in a different area. Okay, so you can only use the robotic arm in certain situations. Um, we just used it there. Uh, I'm not really sure why. I don't know. I, I really don't. But uh, we have another elevator now. I think those power the elevator. Which would make sense. The other one was already powered. Let's get up here. Let's go. Alright. Alright. So, there's this building up here has got a number four on it. I don't know if that means anything. Power station number four, possibly. Uh, don't, don't die. Okay. We made it. We 
have made it. Uh, can I sneak through this hole? No. What? What is this? Do I have TNT anywhere? Uh, can I move any of this? No. How do I drag stuff with the X? Well, this is different. I think this is the first time in the game. Oh, yeah, here's some TNT. I knew there was going to be TNT. I called it. Let's blow this up. Let's blow this up. Oh, walk away. Walk away. Walk away. All right, now watch the fireworks. Kaboom. That's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. Get wrecked, game. All right. What is this? Whatever it is, it's broken. Okay. Uh, more Tesla coils. Uh, I don't see anything the robotic arm needs to do. Oh, we're going across another acid river. It does look good, though. Look at that. We conquered all that. There's something odd about that storm. Yep, that storm looks like it's bad news. For sure, dude. Remember the other storm we found earlier in the game that was like chasing us? That wasn't cool. That wasn't cool at all. I just want everybody to know that this stream is uh, powered by a local Mexican food place called Taco Villa. And Powerade is what I'm drinking. So big shout out to Powerade especially for keeping me fresh. Okay. I used to be sponsored unofficially by Red Bull, but then I started drinking too many and I've really come back. I have two in the fridge, but uh, I haven't opened them. I bought those for Tuesday, so. All right, we've got a big gate-like door here. All right, it can, we can use our robotic arm. Alright, we hit a button and I don't think it was the right one. Okay, middle, down, left. Oh, sometimes I'm just lucky. How lucky was that? No, oh, oh, the way she used to smile, she would keep going, the kindness in her voice. This was in the beginning of the game. Did that just say Roland is too high? Isn't that her name, basically, Randy? Oh, we're on the other side of the gate. Okay, we are now in the wasteland, and Mocha says, No movies or games have a happy ending with humans meeting alien species or other planets. That's pretty much true. Sadly, that is true. These mountains seem to have like gold in them or something. Alright, we're definitely not supposed to go that way. Oh, rip! Man, that's what you get for uh, exploring, idiot. You need to stay focused and just go the way the game wants you to go. Don't go try to glitch out of the map. Randy, Rollins, Mr. Mr. Astronaut. Oh, there she is! Oh, she's got green eyes. What in the world? Hey, get away from him. Oh, it doesn't matter. He's already dead. No, no. Stay put, lady. Crazy green-eyed Russian. Crew confirmed dead. Both my crewmates are now confirmed dead. I disagree. The first guy disappeared. He's not dead. Anyway, it seems this planet is not lifeless after all. A deadly life form lingers below the surface of the planet. The woman seems to avoid the trap somehow. 
I will try to use this to my advantage, following her tracks as best as possible. What if she's a mass murderer? What if she's the one killing everybody? Oh, brother. Oh, brother. Alright. So, we're chasing a mysterious green-eyed Russian. Uh, we named her Petra Slavinia. Um... We've got a little bit of... Oh! Uh, don't... Don't do that. We got an achievement for that, though. What was that? Something mysterious kills you. Alright, guys. Uh, this is definitely not a lifeless planet. At all. Uh, there's our, our dead dude when you go this way. Jeez! Alright, so we are now officially dodging these bushes. I was going to use it as a back scratcher. That's what I was doing a minute ago. Uh, but now, we are moving right along. Just follow the green goo. Maybe she's bleeding. Maybe maybe she does need our help. Maybe I should be a little bit nitri nicer to Petra. Okay. What is back this way? I hate that it, it gives me these little dead ends where there, there could be like a secret... Or something. I crave the secrets. The columnar basalt. Located a vast field of columnar basalt. These natural formations appear similar to those on Earth, but at a far grander scale than any terrestrial occurrences I'm aware of. I have to assume they formed in a similar fashion to basalt columns on my home planet via the slow cooling of huge lava flows. As the hot substance cools into new rock it contracts sending deep cracks into the surface in geometric patterns once these cracks go deep enough they result in towering columns of rocks there is your ge geology lesson of the day all right Um, let's see here. Oh, footprints. Seem to cause a biological reaction with the soil. That's what I was saying, dude. All right, the tracks are my guide. A delicate female footprint offering me subtle comfort as I press out into the unknown. Uh, strangely, it's not always effective. I seem to lose the tracks in rocky areas, of which there are plenty. In the nightlight, though, I can see where they pick up again to continue my journey. An analysis of the soil at the point of contact suggests that there is something organic reacting to the person, or the thing, whatever she is, making the tracks. The faded glow is haunting, unsettling marks on the earth that make me recall nuclear propaganda films. I try not to worry about the idea that with every step my body is being irradiated beyond repair. Okay, Mocha, so the way this game uh, intros is we were sent here to explore a possible lifelike planet. Um, our capsule had the US, Germany, Japan, the United or the United Nations or the European Union flag maybe. So anyway, we were sent here to explore a, a strange new world and it's supposed to be full of life and then when we got here it was lifeless. Uh, but then we found out that the Russians, uh, during the times of the USSR, had found a portal to get to this planet. And they confirmed when the, when the Russians were here, there was pl plenty of life and plants and everything else. Um, so now we're trying to figure out the mystery of why this planet is now lifeless. Uh, why the other two people... Uh, that we travel here with are dead and the mysterious woman that's going around uh, what her agenda is as well so I think I'm going the wrong way I need to go this way I think how do I get up there I think I made a wrong turn let's try this again So if the lady that's walking around is leaving green goo everywhere, maybe that green goo 
is eventually going to uh, make this life, the planet grow again. Did we see the other two die? No, we hit our head and um, we were knocked unconscious. Um, the first guy we found like in a barn and the ground ate him up. I assumed he was okay, but the game told me that he was dead. And then the other guy, uh, we just saw dead on that stick over there. Huh. I really wanted to go the other way. Maybe we'll get our extended jetpack later and we can double back. Alright, there's something shiny up here. Give me that shiny. Roots. I've taken a sample from one of the root species. My field observation my field observation tools are not much use, but from what I can tell the creatures are a carbon based life form. However, their cellular structure is completely unique. There is very little specialization between cells, and yet the cells appear to be far larger and vastly more complex than those of terrestrial animals, including humans. Uh, we also, Mocha, have uh, had some hallucinations of Earth once or twice. I still don't know if this dude's just not tripping balls. Like, He even says as the game starts, I could have a concussion. So... I'm not 100% sure what's going on. Was that just a little circular path? Man, game, give me what I crave. Give me a secret achievement. No? Okay, no cream. Alright. Well, now that we made a nice, healthy circle, we'll go the correct direction, which is left. I'm not going in circles, am I? No, no way. No way. Alright, we're going to make it up and over this stuff here. Ooh, almost short hopped that. Almost short hopped that. Okay. Uh, there is a big root in our way. Oh, so Suck a... <sighs> okay. Um, oh, what happens if we go this way? Ah. Okay. Yes, Mocha. Yes. Excellent. Excellent observation. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta go back this way for no reason. I'm gonna mock this plant. Yeah, yeah, I beat you. No, no, that plant was totally about to kill me. Don't do it. Okay. All right, let's see here. Um. Oh, well, there's our green path. Man, we are we are doing awesome. This game is so good. So freaking good. Why this game didn't have more hype, I don't know. Um, uh, wait, what? I think we need to go back that way. All right, we need to dodge the plants. This is like a, a downhill swallow, squalum, solum. Hell. Oh god, run! Dust, dust storm tracking tornado. Second one of these in the game we've found. Oh, I tried to cut the corner. So, Mocha, did you not play this game? I thought you did play this game. This, game, this area is called the Badlands. Oh, I guess I got through that. I guess it glitched me forward. Oops. You're low on oxygen. We need to find oxygen. There's an oxygen machine over there. All right. So uh, I don't know why that happened. I gotta find but, oxygen. Uh, I think we beat that last section apparently.
Well, that was uh, interesting. All right, oxygen tanks are filled. Man, uh, I kind of wish I hadn't glitched forward. I was kind of having fun. Uh, hopefully we didn't miss anything important. So I've been trying to find secrets all game and then I die and it gives me a secret, I guess. Sure. All right, let's go to the right first. I don't see any green tracks from our female character. Maybe we're in a secret level. What is this? Rose Quartz. Bonus item. You've collected a mineral sample. One of five. That's not true. We collected another one in the beginning of the game. I disagree, game. A large cluster of colored quartz. Nice nice to find a silicate mineral here. As the most common type of mineral in Earth's crust, about 95%. It makes the geologist in me feel like home. Well, if not for all the other weirdness on this planet. Yeah, see, we found some sulfur at one point. A nice specimen of the ninth most common element in the universe. So, I'm a little perturbed that it claims that was the first mineral I found when clearly sulfur was uh was something. Maybe sulfur is not really a mineral though. I don't know. Okay. Oh look, it's the letter C. Oh, recording. Um, October 8th, 1978. The latest shipment from home arrived today. Men, food, and copper. But it was all lost. They appeared in the... In an explosion of bright light and a thunderclap, ashes of their remnants fading off in the wind. A horrible sight. The ground surrounding their arrival, arrival is but a rock, which is quickly becoming commonplace. It seems as though the more green fire that is lost to our electrical production, the less I recognize the landscape. But this is merely a test. Our people face a long history of trials and difficult choices, and as and we understand anguish better than any culture. In the end, we always emerge stronger and wiser than before. It'll be no different here. It can be no different here. I will we'll rally the scientists together. Somehow we must return home. Our rations run low. The children look hungry. But we will prevail, even if I must return to Mother Russia and retrieve the supplies myself. Alright, so it looks like um, we're at a point where... The Russians are starting to die off for whatever reason. Right. Time, for answers. time for some answers. I've picked up her tracks again, setting aside the mystery of how she's able to survive out here. I still don't know if I can trust her. Her trail appears to lead me away from the dangers, but maybe that's just because she's looking out for herself. One thing is certain. She doesn't want me following her, and that's exactly why I have to follow her. It's time for some answers. Well, I thought I was going to go the other way, but now I'm going this way. It actually seems like every now and then there might be an, a different way you can go. Um, but for the most part, I would say almost 90% of this is, is pretty linear, pretty straightforward. Okay. Looks like we're going to go down this way. Alright. There is a bridge up there. It's a crazy rock. Is that what they're talking about when they said that the Russians were trying to come through and then they immediately turned into rock? I think that's what that is. That is the dead Russians in that rock. This is quite the uh, quite the jump here. 
All right. See, those rocks, like that one in front of me, they look suspicious. I bet we can move this rock. I'm a genius. Just kidding. Not really. So holding X doesn't work as well as spamming X, believe it or not. Hey, now, don't short hop, sir. Don't short hop. All right, we're on the trail. We go back to the left. Yep. What's to the right though? Nothing. That I don't know. Look safe. It doesn't look safe. Oh, yeah, it really doesn't look safe, does it? We should try it anyway. I mean, we're we're rebels without a cause, right? Let's do this. Oh, whatever. We didn't even touch it. That's garbage. That's garbage. What is that? What is that on the screen? I've never seen that before. I think it was a glitch. The Matrix. Okay. We found a house. Maybe this is where the Russian chick lives. Yo, lady. The crane. Lots of setbacks to production lately. Uh, we've installed a new crane on top of the supply building. Well, I should say we installed an old crane. This thing's a piece of junk. However, we managed to hook up a power source and get it running long enough to hoist a load of supplies up for safekeeping overnight. I sure hope the scientists find a cure soon. Find a cure? A cure for what? We need to find a way to turn this on. All right, we can go up this hill. Get up there, buddy. You can do it. Alright. We'll just find this. We'll follow the power lines to a power station. And uh, I bet we have to use the uh, that crane arm. And we'll just turn, turn this thing on. Oh! That was almost a bad jump. Almost, but not quite. Because we pulled it off. Alright. Um... That part of the game looks interesting, but we definitely don't have our extended jetpack for that right now. Oh, shh. Rip. Oh, there's oxygen right there. I don't know why we'd want that, but I kind of I kind of want that now. Where was that? Where was that? Oh, okay, over here. Is that like extra jetpack fuel? What up, Ace? Oh, we, we just can't get down there right now, I don't think. It's just, like, killing us. Whatever. I bet we come back there later. I didn't really want to go that way anyway, game. Ace, this game is really cool. Alright, here we go. Um, we need to use the robotic arm. Alright, we need to... Oh! Oh, we can carry it over there. How fancy is that? Alright, here we go. I'm getting better at this. Alright, so now we have power. Oh, uh, crap. Should we take another one of these with us? We're going to take this for fun. No, we're not. Screw it. Jetpack fuel collected. Extended boost mode enabled. Yes. All right, here we go. Here we go. I've missed you, extra jetpack. Uh... All 
I love the jetpack in this game. Holy crap. Why does this feel so good? Nope, no secret. Man, we've got to find five minerals in this game. I mean, we don't have to, but... Sure would be nice to get all the secrets. Oh, we overjumped it! Oh, that was so close. Holy... Oh, that one was tough, too. I want to be an astronaut so bad and do this on a planet. Let's just be real honest with each other. This is my dream. This game is my dream. Jetpack fuel depleted. Oh. Son of a. It killed my dream. It killed my dream. All right, where are we at here? Um, oh, well, there's... But why? But why? I think we need to push another rock in on the left. Oh God, what have we done? Oh, we did something great. All right, we did it. I don't know what we did, but uh, we pushed some rocks around, and then it uh, did something, which is great. Now we've made it back around to the power lines. All right, so now that the power's on, we can double back to this house, and we can activate the elevator to get to the crane. Yay! I'm in love with this game. I could play this game the rest of my life. This is what No Man's Sky should have been. This game, exploring planets, and then spaceships. No, come further down. No. Oh, that that's as far as you get, huh? Okay. Go, go, gadget. Lift me up. No? Okay. I don't like those spikes. Okay. Woo! We made it. I don't know where we're going. Um, but uh, it's great. You this is amazing. Younger, right? I am told you were once married. Yes, that's right. Years ago. But then your wife turned up missing one day. Well, friends thought maybe she had just run off. But... But you knew otherwise? Yes, ma'am. And I went looking for her. I searched for it, day and night. Wait. W w what? Babe? Wifey? Honey? Oh God. What's happening? Pietra, what's wrong with you? No! <sighs> Dang it, Randy, why didn't you get her? Oh. All right, so we went from on top of a rock to a cave. That makes sense. Um. The Russian girl started talking to us. She knows about our wife. 
Um, apparently we've been having marital problems. But, um... I guess we're gonna be okay. The ground here seems to be uh, a little shaky. I will give the game that I did, it did look like the sun was possibly going down. I'm dead. Oh, I don't know how I lived. But, um... But yeah, um, I'm not really sure. I guess this is maybe the area she fell into. The green path went another way, but I still need to find at least four more secrets. Just got an achievement. Explorer, don't fall the footprints in a dangerous area. Apparently we did what we were supposed to. Uh, we also found an item. Um, Corserite, another fascinating find, the extremely rare mineral Corserite, which I've never heard in real life and I'm probably saying wrong, requires very unique conditions for its formation. To look at its rich color, uh, you wouldn't think this mineral would result from the combination of lead and chromium. Okay. Alright, so we found a secret. Uh, I think that's good. Huh. Alright. Ace has been making beef jerky and pineapple this weekend, dude. That sounds delicious. That's awesome. Okay. Um, apparently, our, uh, I don't know how to really get past this, except for jump. Okay, run. Just run, bro. Run, 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 run. Uh, do we want to go left or right? I don't think I can go left. I don't think I can make that jump. So we're going to have to go right and probably get an item to jump on. If I was a guessing man. Can I move this rock? Cannot move that rock. Okay. Uh, hmm. Can we make this jump? Ooh, barely. Jeez. Where are we? Did I just make a circle? This game and its dang circles, I swear. Wait. Can I push this rock? No. Alright, that's the secret way I went. Did you guys see anything I might have missed? We got an achievement for going left earlier. I'm thinking there might be something else over here. Because I really need to find an item that I can at least uh, use as a jumping. No, this is a dead end. Alright, let's try to go back on that circle area. Does it help that it's dark? The night is dark and full of terrors. Alright, last time I jumped up here and over this crap. Yeah, that's the right play. The What I did the first time is the right play. I totally slipped. This part's hard. This might be the hardest part yet in the game. What about getting up? Can we climb on this on this tr broken tree right here? All right. All right, this is sketchy, McGee. Oh, look, 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 look. Oh. And now here's the rock we can use. That was brilliant. That was... That was probably the best puzzle this game's thrown at us yet. To be perfectly honest. That was cool. That was cool. 
Okay. What else do we have here? Let's go down here. I totally thought I just saw a wizard from Destiny. Oh, I'm scared. Man, I'm glad I'm playing this during the day. I don't want to play this at night. Alright, there's the moon. Alright, um... Go to the left, but there's a lot of stuff to the right. Let's just work our way around the perimeter. I guess. Let's check out. This doesn't seem to be the area we want to go to. Okay. Got it. Uh, next. Go over here. Is that tall grass? No, that's just a rock. That looks like certain death. That is uh, Rip Caverns. R.I.P. Alright, we've got some green over here for us to follow. Alright, there's some... That... That is scary every time. Okay, um, this is not the way we're supposed to go, but I always like to look. Okay, I'm back this way. Uh oh, please don't kill me. I'm just a boy. Why do these trees have to look so scary? Okay, we've made it. We've made it. Where are we? Um, I feel like we need to be up on those rocks on the left, but I don't know a way to get up there yet. Maybe we have to double back. Maybe we have to go forward and then back. Not sure. Oh, cutscene. Do you have a video? What does that even mean? Ah! Oh! Oh my god. Oh my god. Please don't kill me. I'm just trying to push through as quick as I can. Because A, I don't like the dark. And B... This is kind of scary. Alright, um... Let's try to make this jump up here. Oh! I didn't know it was going to put one of those spiny things out. Get... Alright, we need to slow down. I'm, I'm panicking a little bit. Alright, let's just settle down. Deep breaths. Alright. Holding strong. Holding strong. Left or right? Probably left. Hein is definitely afraid of the dark in video games. It's, it's not the dark as much as the fear of the unknown. I mean, it's just not cool, man. I want to be out in the sun. I want to be able to see. 
<laughs> All right, let's uh, let's go down. All right, uh, let's keep going down. Legit, I do not like spiders, for sure. What else am I scared of? I'm not a fan of snakes, even though, you know, sometimes. You, oh, oh, hold on, lady. All right, what are you up to? Whoa. Oh. I don't think that's. I don't think that's our lady. Um. This has got to be some kind of trap. Let's walk right into it. Pfft, what an idiot. I don't trust it. I don't trust it. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm not playing your games. I'm not playing your games, woman. Nope. 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 Lots of nope. Dude, chaos. Extra creepy, dude. Extra creepy. Ace, you're afraid of being married again? <laughs> right? Alright. Oh! Look! I found a building earlier with a four on it. Now that was ages ago. Um... But, uh, I don't know, I, I mean, it's been so long since we've seen 4, I, it definitely doesn't equal levels, but I, I wonder if it does have some kind of meeting to progress in the game. Looks like the portal creators recalibrated the portal away from Earth, and back to the alien homeworld. And the Russians were afraid of what might be on the other side. It right, looks like we are... Close to the portal that got the Russians here. We might be close to the end of the game. I thought this was an eight hour game, but it could be less. Due to the power fluctuations we first witnessed last winter, we've been unable to use the portal. After the accident, we decided to wait for a few weeks to see if the portal stabilized. It didn't. In fact, it has now been months since we have been uh, able to transport anyone through the portal. Then just yesterday, as I monitored the device, I witnessed something both exhilarating and terrifying. Through the flickering light of the portal, I saw for the briefest moment a fantastic alien world with unbelievable architecture. It seems the portal creators have recalibrated the portal to a new destination, their home planet. We dare not attempt to travel through it now. Don't dare me to do things. Don't dare me. Alright. Who boarded up all the doors? Huh? I want to go... No, okay. Oh, what is this? A yearning for bread. They started handing us bread today. This was not a foreign concept to us, but it was something we all thought we left behind. Where are the supplies? Why have they... Why haven't they sent us food? If we knew it would have been like this, we would have planted crops. Surely with all this plant life, we could have grown grain for bread. That is definitely their bad. You, I mean, that's just dumb. That really was just dumb on their part. Alright. Do we go this way, or do we go the other way? I actually was thinking we were going to go the other way. That's why I double back this way. But uh, that way was the right way. So we're going to go over here real quick, make sure we don't miss a secret. Oh, boosty. Extended boost enabled. Let's go, baby. I love the boost. I'm gonna get on this building.
I, I want to get on this building. It might not let me on the building. It knows my tricks. It knows my glitchy ways. Just let me glitch. Alright, last try. Last try to get on the house right here. Oh, we almost made it, but there's nothing on there. I saw it that time. If you're not trying to jump to new and creative spots, you're just not you're just not trying. All right. Now, now officially I'm I'm jumped out. Okay. I mean, if it's going to give you a jetpack, you might as well use it, right? Feels so good. The handling. That handle, bro. Okay, you can make it. Yes. Excellent. We should do like a 360 spin. What? It doesn't spin in the air. The camera will move, but the, the guy won't. I wish there was a sequel to this game. Don't tell me my jetpack's out of fuel. Let me have this extended jetpack forever. It always takes it away from me. I'm not ready. Alright, where are we going from here? This way? Oh, the music is so relaxing. I could almost just do this for hours. All right. Um, there was bad plants over there. Let's go up here. Do we know where we're going? I guess we're going to that structure on the hill. How, how are we supposed to get there? There's, I mean, there's more than one way. I feel like there's more than one way. I'm going to the right. Unless you guys in chat know something I don't. We're going to try the right way first. Or we go the wrong way. Ha ha ha. Bad joke Friday was yesterday. Two days ago, I should say. Alright, we just got a checkpoint. So I think we're doing something right. Yeah, I think we're going the right way. Still think we could have gone another way though. But it could be wrong. Sometimes I'm just lucky. Sometimes I'm not lucky and then I get really whiny, but uh, I have to admit, sometimes I really am lucky. I can hear something. Music changed. Usually means there's a bad guy. Oh, there's a skeleton there. All these trees are full of dead bodies. Um, sir? Uh, can you tell me what happened? No? Okay. There's dead bodies everywhere. This is why I don't like it at night in the dark. Dr. Vladimir's audio log. This is Dr. Vladimir Keremov of the Soviet Space Agency. I'm recording this message in the hopes that it will someday be retrieved and our mission to this planet will be understood. It was a peaceful mission. We discovered a portal in Siberia to... 
uh, 22 years ago, in 1974. Wait, 22 years ago, in 1974. That would mean they got through in 1996. That's that's not right. That doesn't fit the timeline for USSR. Anyway, this this mysterious device instantaneously transported men and machine from Earth across through space to the surface of this planet. And why didn't they ever name the planet? The planet was rich with life, strange but also wonderful and beautiful with an atmosphere favorable to life. It was decided that this world should be claimed for Russia, so the most amazing discovery in the history of mankind was kept a secret. Our leaders wanted to build a new and perfect Soviet society. So very quickly we established a colony of hundreds of people. In the beginning this plan held so much promise. After a few months, our scientific team discovered that the native plant life was dying out. We had unintentionally introduced a virus that killed off a bacteria-like substance that covered the surface of the planet. The organism was the primary food source of the plants, and when it died, life on the planet died with it. Well, most life. Some organisms remained, and they have mutated horribly. They are ravenous for any kind of food. We have lost almost our entire colony to these creatures. Even as I record this message, they are closing in. We have retreated to a high point in the eastern gorge. We had hoped to reach the relic power structure, but it is too dangerous. I don't know how long we can hold out. Man, that's depressing. Poor Russians. Dang commies. Comrade brothers. Alright. Um, I think we're going to need to go right skirt. Alright, we made it. Alright, let's make it up this rock. So... I can't tell if this is their last hold up or where they were trying to get to. But, of course, us Americans will succeed where the Russians did not. Alright. Jetpack fuel depleted. Extended boost mode disabled. Boo. What is that? Just rocks. There's a path to the right, but I really want to explore this structure. Start. I'm starting to feel like I should have just gone to the right. And there's a path to the left as well. Um. But I, I saw the right one first, and you know. Oh wait, what? Structure Massive structure. Doesn't appear man-made. Was this what the Russians were trying to reach? Past the massacre site, I've encountered the largest structure yet. This does not appear man-made, and it was almost certainly constructed by the portal builders. Is this what the Russians were trying to reach? If so, they came tragically close to their goal. I'm gonna press on a little further. And then get some rest until morning. Did we just beat the level? Alright. Well. Alright, we beat the level. We've basically gone through all of the Russian stuff. We've got to be getting close to the end. Oh, this is a new level. I thought it was a loading screen. <laughs> Alright, so uh, we've... Man, the, the oxygen is not consistent in this game. And we've never had any food or water. Uh-oh. After all this time, this is how we're going to go out. No. Save us, Petra!
what is happening. Well, Petra saved us and then mysteriously is gone again. That was... She saved me. But for what purpose? That way is the way we need to go. Always want to look in a full 360. Oh! What is this? A boy in the woods. I do not recognize the changing world around us anymore. It seems darker, dreary, and hatefully responsive to our presence. My son, Kolia, ran to me last week, claiming that he saw a boy in the forest who tried to lure him in deeper, then smacked him in the face with a branch. The gash on his face is proof. While this could be a story to hide his embarrassment, Kola swears to me that the boy looked exactly like him, and I'm inclined to believe him. I do not know if we've created these monstrosities or merely awoke them, but I do know we are no longer welcome in this place. All right. Oh, Petra. What's up, chick? What's going on? Oh, no, that's the creepy one. That's a trap. Yep, that's the trap. I'm not playing her reindeer games. Shapeshifters. Yeah, we've known that for like two levels. The root creatures appear to be capable of assembling into various forms. They have caught on that I'm following the woman and they are taking her shape to lure me into their traps. Or is she controlling them? Communicating in some way I can't understand. I'd never believe any of this if I weren't experiencing it myself, but then my belief is of little value. I still do not understand what's going on. Yeah, bro, yeah. Alright, there's another light straight ahead we're going to make our way towards. I've never actually fallen into one of the traps. Should we go into a trap? Like, most of the time when I've died, I get an achievement for it. Should we sacrifice one of our rips? We are now officially in the dead forest. Dead forest, more confirmation. This must have been a spectacular forest. Yeah, it was spectacular. Yeah, sure, whatever. More confirmation this planet was once rich with life. I've come across remains of a huge forest as our scout probes had indicated. This world was once a place of diverse life and stable ecosystems. All right. Yeah, let's go left. We're going to call this forest Merkwood. After The Lord of the Rings. By J.R.R. Tolkien. One of my favorite books. If you're not a big reader and you don't want to read all The Lord of the Rings, at least read The Hobbit. The movies were weird. Uh, the book's uh, way better. Um... We need to go right, but I didn't like how those trees looked. Oh, here's some power nodes. Okay, we're going to have to take these somewhere. Let's just go ahead and pick one up. Uh, let's try to make it through these trees. No? Come on. Oh, rip. Huh. Can I go to the right? There's no way to go through the right side. It was another path, like, I think back to the left. And or maybe I could just fly through that quicker. Let's, um, let's make sure there's nothing back over here. Unpacking is the worst. <laughs> yeah, it sucks. And this where we came from? Yeah, that's that just curves us around to where we came from. Alright, uh, I think 
I think we had the right idea a minute ago. I just need to fly through that um, through that vine better. All right, let's, let's let's not screw this one up. Or can we climb one of these trees? Jump through this rock. Oh, here we go. No! I don't think we were supposed to get, be able to get on this this rock, but we pulled it off. And if we can do it once, we can do it again. Alright, one more try. One more try. Man, that's stupid. Let me glitch. Okay, here we go. Let's line this up. Let's line this up better. Alright, chat. What am I doing wrong? Where do I need to be going? Because if I die there again, that's all the power pieces. See? At least I know how far in I can go. Watch this, watch this. I won't jump early. Oh. Alright, we just can't go that way. We just can't do it. So we've got to find an alternate path. Can't get through these trees. See, we only have one power supply left, so we can't get it caught in that trap. Just trying to see what rocks we can jump on and where. I really don't think we're supposed to be on this rock here. We've gone all game without really getting stuck. Alright, let's explore... The... Is that a gap on the right right here? Did I miss this a minute ago? No, this is a dead end over here. Right? That is true, Z. You did make me jump in acid. But that was amazing. I don't think I've been all the way over here. Have I been here? Uh, this is a bonus item, one of one for this level, coal. I'm detecting some unusual readings in the samples, but I still believe coal is a proper identification for this material. As coal is derived from plant matter back on Earth, I, to, I have to conclude these samples were formed from the remains of the root-like creatures on this planet. However, there's something odd with this specimen, and I still can't get a precise handle on what kind of life form we're dealing with here. So we found a secret area. We did not find the correct area on how to get through. Hmm. So. Kind of good. Kind of not good. I'm backtracking, I think, right now. If my mental compass is correct. Maybe we missed something. Oh, 
I don't see those, uh... Oh! It wants me to go this way. I was about to say I didn't see those uh, creepy twin-like creatures. I was actually going to kill myself on one of those, but whatever. Alright, we've got to figure this out, guys. Somehow we left Mirkwood. Oh, this is new? Look, a cave. Somehow we're going the right way. I don't have a... I don't have a jetpack to get up there. How do I get up there? Alright. Maybe we, uh... Need to go around. By the way, big shout out to Happy Man 7777 for following. Appreciate the support. Thanks for watching. This is uh, my first time to play this game. I've had it on my backlog a long time. And, uh, man, it's a really fun game. I'm currently um, stuck. Well, not like stuck, stuck, but I'm a little lost. All right, we're going to try to make this jump like one more time and then we'll move on. That cave has got to be something though. All right, whatever. The path, the green path is definitely telling us to go that way. Maybe we need to find uh one of those What is it called? Uh where we get the extended jetpack. go up here all right so there's the forest I don't know how we got here sometimes when you die the checkpoints the game gives you are are pretty strange I'm gonna go back into the forest I wonder if I could have used the crane arm. The crane arm usually only works in specific areas. But, uh... I'm gonna go back in here for a minute. Huh. I just made a circle. I'm really good at making circles. Oh, lifeless planet. Tell me your secrets. Tell me your wisdom. I've only been stuck a couple times in this game, but I, I am really good at getting myself in sticky situations. Alright, so... This is the spot... Okay, so... What if... Could we take that back to that one cave? Is the cave where we came out of? Is the cave how we started this whole area? Maybe. Alright, so I'm back... Back here in the forest. Still don't know how to get through this gap. Alright guys, you guys in chat watch. So... That's that's a rip right there. 
And so what I've been trying to do is work my way around that. But I can't find an easy solution. Oh, I thought I almost got on that rock. Oh, I'm going to make this happen. I'm going to climb this rock and we're just going to jump over that wall. We're going to make this happen. We're not making that happen. We're not making it happen. Um, and I just have no real clue on what to do. I was going to try to climb that tree right there, but it won't let me. Usually there's like an item that you can grab. I mean, to be honest, this game has been pretty easy. Did we just do it? Did we just do it? I think we we did it. All right, we we got past it. Problem is now I don't have that uh electrical rock. It, oh, that's a bunch of vines. Okay. Hopefully we didn't need that. All right. Moving along. Awesome. Hype. Let's go, baby. Let's go. All right. Here we go. Found a new area. I never made it back in that cave, but that cave actually could be where the level started. All right. We're going to climb this tree here. It's going to be great. All right. Here we go. Portal creators. creators. Are these portal creators? They appear to be sentient beings. But they look similar to the root like creatures in form. Whatever they are, they clearly didn't survive. Okay. I thought I heard something. Alright, we could jump that way or we could try to climb up this cliff. I don't think we need to climb up this cliff, but we're going to try it. I always like to try the worst of the two ideas first. Because it's just more exciting. I still don't think we did that last area correctly. But we made it work. If you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. At least that's what they say. I can hear creatures. I can hear creatures. Oh, that was almost an over jump. Oh, what was that? Oh, what is that? Oh my gosh. I'm nervous. Where's where's the crazy Russian lady? Oh, what is this? What are these kind of plants? I haven't seen this before. I look like giant da dead dandelions. Someone uh someone already blew the seeds off the top of them. At least that's what I see. What do you guys see? Dead dandelions everywhere. Rip dandelions. It's only two months, 29 days, 9 hours, 53 minutes, and 18 seconds till Christmas. Get hyped. Get you something good for Christmas. Don't forget about the loved ones. We're under three months away from Christmas is what I just found out. Oh no, I wasn't ready. All right, we might have to jump on a dandelion here. Boomstick, what up, bro? 
Oh, we missed our jump. I was hyped to see Boomstick. And I short hopped it. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Alright, we made it. We jumped on a dead dandelion. <gasps> what up? Let's go this way. This is a game called Lifeless Planet. Uh, it's a little bit of an older game that I've had backlogged on my Xbox for a while. It's been like the number one game I haven't been playing for a very long time. Um, so I took this Sunday afternoon as an opportunity to get it get it played. That stupid thing? What? Oh man. And it really, believe it or not, Boomstick, this game has been uh, very fun, relaxing. It's got a decent music. And, oh, son of a... F son of a dummy. Anyway, Boomstick, uh, it's it's got, like, pretty decent mechanics. I'm, I'm really enjoying it. I love sci-fi. And so this is, like, right up my alley. I have Mirror's Edge on the Xbox right now, but I haven't actually uh, played it. You know, I, I started playing Mirror's Edge 2, and uh, the version I had was like really buggy. I got a lot of black screens and things like that. We gotta, we gotta make these jumps. Um, anyway, so I really wanted to go back and play Mirror's Edge 1. I just haven't had a chance. I might do that next weekend. I think that might be our weekend game for next weekend. Uh, next week, during the early afternoons, I mean mid-afternoons, whatever, when I get off work, I'm going to be... Son of a... I'm about to start cursing. I'm going to be playing Ark in the afternoons and in the evenings. Um, if I have time, I might stream some Destiny raids. Uh, we already can get through two big sections, and I might show that off next week. All right, I need some. Let's get some dedication runs in here. We're gonna dedicate this next area to Mocha. All right, these this next jumps we're gonna dedicate to Mocha, and if I fail, we'll dedicate it to the next person. Mocha. Mocha, what what have you done to us, bro? All right, we'll do this one to Boomstick. All right, Boomstick, we're gonna make these jumps in your honor. All right. Oh, we made it! Yes. Boomstick with the good luck right now. All right. See, all we had to do was start dedicating, and we got right through that area. All right. I really feel like when he does it, think. You can't stay on it very long, or he like takes all your jumping power. All right, this one's for you, Ace. This one's for you, buddy. Yeah. What is this ice? I've never seen this in the game. Oh, we about to hit like a water world.
what up? Our boy little Rob. Your mom calls you Lurkskin? <laughs> That's funny. Alright, um... So, we must be in the very far north or south of the game. Because there's glaciers. We are... It's getting extra cold. I mean, but we're an astronaut. And I feel like astronauts can handle the cold of space. We can handle the cold of this glacier. Alright, let's try to make it up here. I bet we just got ourselves stuck. We went the wrong way. That's for sure. Oh, maybe not. Oh, yeah. Climb every mountain. You think I'm in the south? This is the south pole, not the north pole? Luck or sin? Well, I'm going to call you Boom. That's what I call you. Okay. Okay. All right. Don't die. Don't die. Ah! We fell down. Get up there, fatty. Oh, oh. Switch through it. All right, whatever. Now let's try to go up the right side this time. Man, I thought we, I thought we had it. Oh, there's the green footsteps. Okay, we're on the right track. By the way, I appreciate everybody for coming in and hanging out today. I'm having a blast with this game. Having a blast with you guys in chat, as always. Uh, we had uh, one new follower earlier. Happy man. Um, one of our new followers from yesterday came by. He's one of my friends in real life. His name is Nick. Shit, all you guys coming in. I think we're pretty close to the end of the game, to be honest. Alright, we're at the portal. This is how people were getting to the planet. Um, before it became lifeless. This is how the Russians were here trying to make a colony. I thought we were actually going to be Russian in this game, but we are not. We are American. I like to climb things just because. Um, so this is the building, but there's another thing over here on the right. Let's check this out over here. I don't read Russian, so I have no idea what that says. Probably says keep out. All right, we need um, a power supply thing. Oh, no, don't die. Don't get the... Oh, God, I'm freaking out. Alright, we got it. Alright, now we gotta make our way out of here. Gotta be extra careful. I don't think we jump as high with this thing in our hands. Yeah, we definitely don't jump as high. Whatever, I don't need to be on that. Alright, so we're taking this... ...to here? Oh,
Where'd it go? Did it reset over here? The, uh, the thorns in this game, Boomstick, will kill you. We don't want to put it in this one, do we? Oh, let's put it in this one. Maybe I can just drop it in there. All right, we've got electricity. Yeah, I'm kind of nervous about going that way. Oh, son of a... Ugh! At least give me the checkpoint. At least give me the electricity. Okay, the electricity's working. Whatever. That, de If anything, that death helped us. Open sesame. That's good enough. Alright, here we are. Alright, Z, have a good day. Thanks for hanging out. Alright, what is this? Well uh oh, cutscene. Slow me. Yeah, I can see it's broken. Great. There go my hopes for getting off the planet. Okay, we're back. Uh, so, the portal's broken, apparently, but uh, I think we, we're probably going to still be able to fix it. Okay, por portal disaster. For years, we depended on the portal system to develop our colony on this planet. It never occurred to us that one day it would cease to function. As the native plants died and life receded from view, the hope that we would ever return to our families in Russia faded as well. Uh, it didn't happen all at once, of course. The portal faded from its former glory slowly over time. The more we developed this world for our creature comforts, the more desolate the environment became. Eventually the portal began to mimic the world around us, and then it fought back. At first, there was simple accidents in the transportation process of our supplies. We assumed it was a fluke. After all, we were dealing with technology that we had only just discovered. So this was a rational conclusion at the time. Our theories were rendered inconsequential though, when a group of colonists suffered the same fate. The shadows of their former selves, the gore, stained, a rival platform, was a horror that we could not put out of our minds. Moscow sent nothing more, and we were too afraid to face fate and test our luck. We are now trapped here, on a dying world, a grave of our own making. Okay, so uh, I guess people tried to go through the portal and then they died. Um, what are we going to do to make this portal fix and so we can leave where the Russians couldn't? All right? We need to figure this out. I don't want to be on this planet anymore. We need to move which platform? All right, it wants us to move a platform. Let's take a look here. All the different tools that we have. Oh, look, look, look over here. TNT. All right. Let's use some TNT. Um, maybe we can blow up part of the platform. We need to move. Which platform are we trying to move? It was kind of vague. I don't think this is the right spot. No. 
I was going to like blow the legs off this thing. You know it's in the right spot because the TNT will just start activating itself. Alright guys, what are you... Oh, 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 there's a white light. Stuck. I've discovered the portal... The oxygen supply module. I've discovered the portal the Russians used to travel between Earth and this planet, but the device is inoperable. This seems there was some kind of massive failure. So I won't be able to use the portal to return to Earth, but I'm also running low on oxygen. But I believe there's another supply module several kilometers north of here. The woman is leading me in the general direction, so with any luck I can make it there and change my oxygen. But then what? First things first, though, let's just get the oxygen. Alright, so where do you guys want me to put this TNT? I need to move a platform. Oh, oh, found the right spot. Let's not kill ourselves. There it is. That was my initial guess, but then like I overthought it, you know? I do that. Okay. Is this cutscene gonna start? Hello game. There we go. Alright, so we are magically in a different area now. Exactly, Boomstick. Exactly. So that's why he thinks he's trapped on the planet now. Uh, we're trying to find an alternate way out. Dang, Ace, nice roll, bro. Alright, this level is called Cliffs. Right. Oh! Avalanche. We gotta go this way. Alright, so apparently the Russian woman is leading us to uh, some oxygen because. She wants us to go this way. You know, Russians tend to get like a bad rap, but I think their their language is actually pretty cool. I also think the names are cool. Hey, hey, what's up, Memo? I am playing a game called Life... Oh, shh! Сейчас! Um, I don't know what that means, Memo, but I'm playing uh, Lifeless Planet. It's an older game um, that Smiley actually had on his hard drive Stoy, that I always wanted to play. Oh, Stoy, uh, uh, uh. Anyway, I'm trying to get back to Earth, but... This whole thing could be an illusion! Uh, I almost short hopped that. I love the sci fi games. Ooh! Ooh! I see how this Her works. Left, my... Her left, my right. Alright, we're just going right up the middle. I don't know what she's trying to tell me right now. All right. Nice and slow. Um, why do I feel like this is not the right way? This doesn't look right at all. Uh, the point of this game is is really it's it's more of an exploration game, and uh, we're solving the mystery of what happened to this planet because at one point it was not lifeless the russians had a uh base here etc and uh we're also just trying to f figure out how to get home uh there w we were a crew of three but the other two dudes are dead it's actually pretty f interesting it's not high action but the the mystery and the exploration is really fun i've really enjoyed it i i I like to jump, and there's lots of jumping in this game. 
If you have an opportunity, I'd probably give it a shot. Oh, that was close. Dang wind. Trying to push me off. Okay, let's go up this hill. Oh, that was close. Alright. I actually think we need to go down on this path. No, no. That's that's if we fall, where do we go? Oh, no! Ah! Dang wind. It's pushing me. Alright, let's try this again. Take two. Do it for memo. Do it for memo. Do it for the clan. Oh yeah, dedication runs work every time. Except for that one time. We dedicated one to Mocha earlier. And I screwed it up. Yeah, we'll go up this thing. This looks safe. This looks safe. It's kind of look like big turds. <laughs> All right. Um, don't don't hurt me, Mr. Viney Plant. Oh, nice call, Ace. I forgot about all about the amp. Dude, we need to play Last of Us again, Ace. We really do. Huh. Okay, that's not working, clearly. Maybe if we come over here. Yeah! I actually thought initially that was going to be our way to go, but I didn't want to do it. Uh, my light level on Destiny is 358 or 359. I finally got my light level up quite a bit last night it was awesome I had been stuck at 353 354 for a while but then I finally got RN Jesus to help me all right what do we got what do we got here oh look at this structure what is this is this uh, another portal Dude, that 355, once I got past 355, I I started flying. I was playing with Agent and um, Trevor last night. 278, bro. You should have been at least in the 330s before this new DLC. Alright. There's clearly going to be something to the left. Wait, wait, wait. Have we been here before? We've definitely been through a gate like that before. But I don't remember this. <laughs> Director's report, October 19th, 1978. Just got an achievement. Planetary Historian, read 20 documents. Well, of course I'm going to read them. That's why the game is... Oh, stupid game. Anyway. The green fire is dying out. While the recent release of copper particles into the atmosphere following the explosion contribute to it a stunting of plant growth, it could not be the cause for the widespread death we are witnessing across this entire planet. Perhaps it has something to do with the portal. The last activations were turbulent to be certain, and the flora and fauna have recently become uh, vo volatile. Even the planet's larger species are far more aggressive in the aftermath of our interventions. I fear that we may have crossed acceptable boundaries in our experiments. Uh, were the plants always this angry? Or are they simply lashing out at us for failures? These are not theories of rational men, but science has yet to yield a response. I'm only hope it's not too late. She may yet save us all. Okay, I don't know who she is, but we've also been following a chick in the game. Maybe those two correlate. Um, so I'm not sure. Let's hit this button right here. Oh, it's broken. We need electricity. Okay. 
Um, there's some pallets. Oh, what is this? Jetpack fuel collected. Oh, baby. We've got the jetpack fuel again. The jetpack fuel is what makes this game so good for me. Well, that's not entirely true, but I do like the jetpack fuel a lot. Alright, that's not the right way. Alright, here's some energy nodes. Um, so let's find the place to put these. Alright, let's put, for now, let's just put this right here. You think I could fly up here? Oh, baby. Oh, this still works! Go back down, go back down, go back down. How does that work? I don't know. But give me this. Okay, get up there. Okay. Oh, hey. No, no, no. Drop that. Oh no, it dropped all the way down. Stupid freaking mother. Oh no. Oh no. I have an idea though. I have I have an idea. Is that how that was working? Oh, I screwed it up. We got lucky. The checkpoint left us this right here. Alright. It's time. Don't roll off the edge. Thank you. Alright. Take two. We're gonna put this in the uh, the hole, I guess. All right, and then we'll put the robotic arm. We'll grab it again, and we're gonna put it in the hole. Do you think we need to do that three times? Do we do we need to bring all of them up here? Or do you think that's enough for the door over there? What do you guys think? Should we check out the door? It looks like it's pretty powerful. But it might need more. I said we check the door out just real quick. Ooh, ouch. All right, we're going to go up here. It looks like it has enough power just from one. Alright, the pattern last time was um, top one. Oh, not this time. Alright. Top left. Okay, top left. Top right. Nope. Top left. 
And then... That one. That one. There we go. So you don't have to hit them in order, necessarily. Well, it doesn't matter, like, particular order. Boomstick just doubled his money. Oh my gosh, you're crazy. You gambled all your gold. You got so lucky, dude. That's amazing. GG for Boomstick. What a roll. Alright, we're at the Hot Springs. I am, uh, I'm a little, a little surprised that there's ice right here coming up in the hot springs. Do I still have, oh yes, I still have my awesome jetpack. Alright, what is this? Who dares me to get in this? I'm doing it. Uh oh. And this is weird. Alright, let's just keep going forward. Hot springs with glaciers. That just blows my mind. Oh, jetpack fuel just depleted. That's sad. Should we try to jump off the water? Oh, yes, it that works. It pushes us up. Sweet. Okay. Okay. Water park. I've entered an area with unusual high geothermal activity. There are hot springs all around and guys are shooting out of the crust. I'm not as nimble as the woman at climbing rocks. I wonder if I could make use of these fountains to boost me up. My suit should protect me from the scalding hot water, but could still be quite a rough ride. Whatever. Just make it happen. Alright. Don't be, don't be scared, alright? We're not in the water, like, in the dark. It'd be different if it was water and darkness, but we're fine. I don't see any secrets over there. We need to just keep pushing on. Alright, watch out for the bushes. You are lucky, Boom. You are. Oh, I might die. I thought I was going to land right where I did not want to land. So the water geyser, I guess, is a new mechanic right now. And I'm just guessing we want to jump across this sweet rock formation. Okay. Um, I need to go that way, but there's a secret over there. I have to have it. Oh, I thought that light was a secret. Oh, we got bamboozled. Uh, I don't know, Mocha. I do not know. Man, I got bamboozled. I got bamboozled. Well, now that we're over here, we gotta, we gotta fully, fully explore it. I don't think so, Mocha. I really don't think so. It should be. I think it should be a games with gold game. That would be awesome. Chaos said that the developer makes a, a lot of virtual reality tours. This is really one of their only games. Which I'm a little disappointed to hear, but maybe they'll... Maybe they'll make another one at some point. Maybe I can harass them on Twitter. Because I'm totally going to tweet at the company after I play this. And tell them 
you know, GG and LOL. Just kidding, not the LOL part, but. I am going to tell him that I, I did enjoy the game. I like the creativity of it. I almost flew off right there. All right, we've made it. Moving right along. It's one stall, one small step for man, one giant leap into water. And we're dead. This guy just, just cannot swim. He's not a swimmer. He's not a strong swimmer. Did you see that long jump right there? Did you even catch that? That was a sick jump. That was sick. Alright. Alright, here we go. Don't jump into the water. It's certain doom. You will meet your doom. I could actually maybe even see this as a VR game. Oh, I'd rip. Let's go this way. There's one thing I've learned from playing this game. Follow the green. Oh, we got some geysers. I need this geyser to work. That's the one I want. Alright, we need to use the geyser to get me up over there, right? That is not working. Oh, that was the best one yet. Alright, let's try this again. Seems like after a while it drops you really fast. Cover one of the others with a rock? Oh my god, there is a rock. Chaos, you genius. I didn't even see the rocks. GG to Chaos. Big shout out to Chaos. The other one's gonna open that one. What a genius. Okay. Come on, Kobe. Come on, Kobe. He has to, like, dribble it down. is what I'm talking about. All right. I want to climb up this little mountain. Let me climb you. Anything in it? Nothing exciting. What a bummer. All right, here we go. Fall on our green path. Path. Ugh. You know it, Chaos. 
Know it. All right, what do we got? Next level. This game has more levels than most games. It really does. I'm surprised at how many levels we've had. Like, now we're in a straight volcanic level. This could get dirty. We are in the inferno. Dude, look at that. It looks good. That looks really good. Don't get burned by lava. Alright, boom. There's no way we can make that jump. Oh! Dang! Oh, we got an achievement for that. Burned. Catch on fire. We need the the extra jetpack. Did I miss a jetpack? Fuel source. Yeah, I did. All right, now we've got extended boosters. I love the extended boosters. All right. Here we go. Screw you, volcano. That's a bit toasty. Well, at least it's a dry heat. That guy thinks it's bad joke Friday. He just made a bad joke. All right. Where are we going here? Uh, right? Yeah, we're going right now. This volcanic stuff is pretty cool. All right, back to the left. Skiru. Jump up and over this. Nice. Well, I was kind of confused on where to go for a second. Alright, um... Let's go this way. Ah! Oh, no, I might have jumped too far. Oh, that was panic. I was in full panic mode right there. I don't know where to go. I'm gonna go this way. I am medium rare. I think we're going the right way. Nope. Not that way. I'm a little lost, I think. It's spawning me in different locations. And I. Am I supposed to be going to that antenna tower over there? I really don't know. If the spawn points would be consistent, that'd be great. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go back this way. This is the way I went the first time. And he says something about being medium rare. I jumped on the cliff to the right. And it didn't kill me immediately. It's when I jumped down to the right when I died. So let's just hug this wall. No, that didn't work. Alright, from there I guess we jumped to the tower earlier. What do you guys think? Alright, we're gonna go this way. Because it's not immediate death. And then from here, when I get on this peak right here, I don't want to go any further. I'm gonna jump to that tower. Nope.
It wouldn't be just to go this way, is it? I mean, we're really close to that mountain. I mean, I don't even know why we're going any direction at all. Let's go this way. Alright, I'm going to turn 180 degrees this way. I'm going to go this way. This might be the way I came. But I'm not sure. I think it's the way I came. But at the same time, I don't necessarily remember that, uh, that lava fountain there. Alright, we're at the base of this tower. I did not go this way before. I don't know why I would want to come here. there's a point for being here like if I had some TNT I might be able to blow this thing up and knock it over and then climb over it maybe I'm supposed to find some TNT next question is where the hell is there gonna be TNT in a freaking volcano Push this rock. Alright, that, that's not supposed to go that way. Alright, let's see what this does. Boom, we're in the middle of a volcano. I don't know why pushing that one rock made that whole thing just fall down, but it worked. And we're not going to question what works. Alright, so here we go. No! Oh! Get, get your jumping under control! No! Okay. Oh. Alright, take your time. Let's do this. Let's... Okay, we made it. We're gonna make it across. We're gonna do this for the yam. Yeah, Yammersons. Get yammed. That was for Ace. That was for Ace. Oh no, there's our chick, Petra. Slavinia. Well, uh oh. What is it? What is it? Alright, now we've got a chick, and she pointed up. So I'm not sure what we're doing, but we're on a rescue mission.
She seems to be really lightweight, which is good. Alright, we're climbing up the mountainside with this Russian chick. No! And then we killed her. Dang it! Alright. I don't think we've done a dedication run for chaos today. Alright. We're gonna dedicate this jump sequence. This is gonna be the chaos jumps. Alright, here we go. Uh nope 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 almost almost short hopped that here we go there we go up here watch your head lady all right um let's go back over here okay up 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 what don't give me an invisible wall all right can we make that jump from here Oh yeah, we got the jetpack. We've got all the moves. This was like the jumping thing I did in freaking Destiny the other day. All right, um, let's go up here. Oh, we made it! Yeah, yeah, up the mountain. Hey, come back here. Unusual biology. She's able to breathe the atmosphere. The woman, the Russian woman, appears to have greatly modified biology. While traversing a volcanic region, she began to suffocate. Oxygen from my suit appeared to be no help, and she only recovered upon intake of exhaled, exhaled gases, including carbon dioxide. It appears her body is somehow partly photosynthetic, able to intake CO2 and convert it to oxygen, like plants do on Earth. While well, this could explain her survival in an oxygen poor atmosphere, I can't understand the science behind this observation. She's more plant now than human. Alright. Alright, there's another energy thing um, to open this door. We'll have to puzzle that out. She's walking to this but I bet we have to figure it out for her even though she seems to have all these powers alright let's see let's get up here Oh, there's a story down there. Part of the story. I gotta get the full story now. Doctor's report, November 2nd, 1986, 1978. <laughs> there's nothing I can do to stop the chain reaction. Soon, this world will be lost. I cannot fathom my part in this catastrophe. Or the blind arrogance with which I carried out the planet's planet's execution. I'm struggling real bad right now. I'll never know the outcome of the great conflict between Moscow and the West, but I earnestly hope that they never stand on similar grounds and witness the destruction that I've, I've seen here. I watch as the vibrant world rots to dead rock. I so desperately wanted to hand triumph to our people. I could have been a savior, but now I cannot face them. I am glad that we can never return. Our people will never know what happened here. They will never know why their families never came home. They will never know it was my fault. I mean, I, I know. You just you just told me. Why would you write that down if you, you didn't want it, people to know? What an idiot. What an idiot. Alright. Where's our chick at? Nobody knows. Alright. Um, can I push this? This is kind of weird. I don't really understand. Huh. Maybe I should have hung out with that woman more. Alright, back to the gate.
Yo, lady. Hey, yo, girl. What's the story, Morning Glory? Uh, she's the strong, silent type, huh? This is not powered. Find a way to restore power first. You can't tell me what to do. Yeah, it's not working. Alright, so I was on the right track over there. We just have to figure out the jumping puzzle. Man, twice in a row without falling on that. I'm impressed with myself. Alright, so there's gotta be an elevator or something. Was there a switch down there I missed? Let's go back down here. Look behind the pillars. A lot of times there's there's control switches for the elevators. But not today. Not today. Okay. What am I missing? This looks suspicious, but I can't press Y or X on any of this. Um, I don't have the jetpack to get high enough here. So I'm a little confused on exactly how to handle this. I think it's something to do with these rocks, but there's nothing that I can seem to to do. What am I missing here, guys? I feel like if I had some TNT, I could blow it up. I like blowing things up in this game. Let's just go around. Maybe there is some TNT around here. Let's just keep looking. Don't fall. Oh, look at this. Look at this. We found something. Now, that doesn't already have the energy ball in it, right? Yeah, it's not in there. There's nothing to grab out of this, but this is what we're going to energize the uh, the base with. Oh, here it is, over here. It was all a ruse. Alright. Sweet, we didn't even need to get up in that thing. Shh, false alarm. Alright, so let's drop this here. Dang it, it didn't fall where I wanted it to. Oh, it's just right out of reach. Come on. Grab it, son. Grab it. There you go. Now put it in the hole. There you go. That's what adults do. They do what they want. Okay. Now down, up, grab, back, up, right. Stick it in. All oh, right, now the rocks are working. Um, more than likely, I don't need one of these. Oops, I didn't mean to press that. But we're going to take one of these with us just in case. I really don't think we're going to need it. Now, we came around the other side of the building, but I want to see if we can go around here too. It looks like we can. It looks like it's actually easier from this side. But... Uh, I wouldn't be playing if I wasn't making it hard. Alright. Sweet. The luck is real. You know it, Boom. You know it. Your gambling's been out of control today. And my luck in this game has been out of control. 
It's just a lucky day for some lucky guys. Is it me or is that rock moving a second ago? Oh! They move like I can move them. I don't really want them to move like that. I might have to drop this thing in my hand. It's kind of cumbersome. Oh! We made it. We made it. Holy crap. Oh, and there are energy balls up here. Dang it. Oh well. We made it harder on ourselves. But you know what? That's just the way I work. No! Alright. I, I hit Y twice. Okay. Pick it up. Pick it up. Put it in the green bath of goo. Alright, bro. Now, make, make it happen. Make, make it happen. Thank you very much. Alright, now we should be able to open the door back here. I'm taking one of these with me. Just for fun. Now I understand that gate right there. Now I get it. Alright, so we're going to go up here. Boom, have you lost a, a gamble today? That's unreal. Alright, bottom, middle. Boom, your luck is unreal. Your luck isn't real anymore, it's unreal. The way she used to smile, she would keep going. The kindness in her voice, I can't give up hope. This is something, payload is too high in the in the middle, reduce fuel. Is, is, is that why we crashed so hard on this planet? What about landing sites? It says something about a crew of four. Okay, all game it's been saying there's a crew of three. I just saw on that middle screen it said something about a crew of four, question mark. What does that mean? There's so many mysteries in this game. What's up, girl? Where are we headed? You don't like to talk very much, do you? Look, we could be heroes. We could be heroes. Let me, let me ride on your back. Carry me. She won't let me. She's being real selfish right now. Oh, whatever. Alright, there's a spooky house up here. Makes no sense why there's a house up here. I'm getting extra spooked. Alright, November 17th, 1978. I thought I found a survivor today. A hand reached up from the dirt, yearning for help. When I rushed towards the charred, dying flesh, it struck me deeply in my abdomen. It was a horrible remnant of our intervention, somehow still alive. The native light sought its revenge on me, and soon it will be victorious. I am responsible for this madness. We do not belong here. The planet did not deserve this. The distant worlds are kept from our reach because we have not yet earned the right to be there. And somehow, I fear that when the time comes, man will seek these treasures in the heavens, not because of wonder. He will do so because he has destroyed his original nest. We are fools. Okay.
All right, we can't go in the house. There is another uh, message. The test subject. Much to our dismay, the ecological impact of our exploration or exploitation of the green fire was vicious. The plant life receded rapidly. We theorized that the moss was the primary source of food for all the life on this planet. Unfortunately for our civilization here, the decrease in moss not only meant the decrease in power, but also a decrease in oxygen. Human and plant like began to die. As luck would have it though, one of the doctors noticed an oddity in town. One of our assistants, Alida, was keeping a garden, and it was thriving. We attempted to discover its secret, but Alida was strangely defensive. Apparently her child had died in the early stages of the oxygen shortage. Alida's refusal to cooperate and share her secret forced our hands. Soldiers uh, came threatening to burn the garden, but when Alida moved to protect her plants, they grew stronger. Her touch made them react, brought them to life. Regarded then as a tool, Alida was taken, imprisoned, and forced to undergo terrible experiments. We severely altered her on a genetic level by injecting an abundance of native DNA into her body from preserved moss cultures. While she roared in pain and protest, we took her humanity away on a molecular level. Alita was more of a plant than a human when we were finished. Her eyes took on a brilliant green color and her lungs filled with CO2, but it was the success. Her footsteps invigorated the ground in her wake, which small sprouts of life. The moss responded to her touch, rising from the dust. I do not expect Alita to forgive us, but she's the only hope to restore the balance of life on this world. Without Alita, this planet will remain in decay for the rest of time. All right, Boomstick, you need to not spam chat. All right, so, um, Alita is her name. It's not Petra. I was off a little bit. Where did she go? I don't even know where she went. Alright, where's Alita? So, I kind of theorized earlier the little green stuff she was leaving behind was revitalizing the planet. I really had that feeling earlier. Is it something else down in the crater? Do we need to go down into the crater? I'm kind of scared. Need to find Alita. Where did you go, girl? Where did you run off to? Okay, um, she's not this way. We'll go the other way. The other way looked more uh, likely. That's why, as always, I went the other way. See if we can find a secret first. Let's get this little astronaut going. Man, part of me thinks we need to go down in that crater, but... We're going to go the safe route. I think there's a way down uh, on the right side. So we're going to go nice and slow. Oh, there she is. Yo, girl. What are you doing? Whatever. Alright, well. Um, we found out the mystery of this chick. I think down in the crater there might be some supplies for our astronaut. I think that's what we're going to. But uh, primarily I don't know beyond that what our our current mission is because I don't know if we're going to be able to get home. I think that is her house. I mean, if anything, maybe she could let us move in. Maybe we could have little crazy alien babies. All right, we found a bridge of some sorts here. Hopefully it still has power. It probably doesn't, knowing my luck. Do I have to do I have to walk this tightrope across cuz that looks treacherous.
rip. It actually looks. Can we? This can't be right. Can it? This looks way too hard of a jump. What do you guys think? I mean, I don't know. I mean, I I don't know how to get around the the other cable that blocks my head. Oh, broken legs. All right, let's uh let's see if there's something we missed. Yeah, that is crazy. I agree. I mean, I could do it if I had that other uh, extended booster life. All right, I'm gonna try to make it down into this crater from another angle. I really feel like that's where we're supposed to go, though. I just feel like maybe I'm missing something. Wrong button. Looks like there was a path near the house. Okay. Oh, I see it. I see it. I'm making my way down another way. I'm making my way down another way. Oh, yeah. Sweet. Dude, good call out by Happy Man. I completely missed that. That's awesome. All right. What is this down here? Uranium, maybe? Alright, there's a note. Let's read the note. Huge meteorite. Initial analysis of the meteor indicates non typical of terrestrial meteors. Upon further investigation, the meteor appears to be part of a highly engineered vehicle. Our current theory is that the crater was the landing site for the advanced race that built the portals and related power structures. We've set up a research outpost on the rim of the crater and we plan to study the site at least through the winter. We basically have three paths, I think, right now to take. This is path number one, which I think is going to be the least likely places to go. Then there's a middle path, which goes under uh, that bridge that I was trying to cross on the cable. And then there's a third one to the far right, uh, right of the house. So let's see if we can get lucky here. What is that? Wrong button. I'm always trying to pull out my flashlight with B and it doesn't work. Alright, so this is an invisible wall. There might be something on the actual path since I kind of like skipped the path from the house. There might be something else there. This is our next path, path two of three, to explore. Oh, what is this? What is this? There's a house.
Oh, get that X off my screen. Come on. Director's report, December 6, 1978. I'm not likely to see another day. The wounds I carry are a constant reminder of the pain we have inflicted on this planet. Our original purposes here were pure and good, but maybe that is the curse of a species far from home. We cannot adapt, so we destroy. Instead of cultivating, we upset the natural order of the new world. It has always been this way, and it always will be such. Um, and there is the arrogance to think it should be any different for our generation. I'm about to sneeze. Excuse me. Anyway, I am sorry, Alita. I did not see until it was too late. If my name is ever again called to mind, I hope it will be as a lesson for those who come after me. Do Savenya. I think that means something in Russian. Oh, yes, there's an elevator now. Yes. All right, guys. Uh, chat, should we still go to the far right and explore the crevice way over there? Oh, it's cool, boom. No worries, bro. Alright, we're gonna try to get here quick. You know, it'd be cool if at some point you could find like one of those little moon lander things where you could like drive around. Come on, give me the secrets that we crave. Oh, this looks, this looks, this looks stupid. Oh, I think we just got ourselves stuck. Alright, whatever. Alright, so we're going up to the elevator. Yeah, rover. Well, is it a rover? I think on the moon they had moon buggies. The rovers are like the robotic ones. Rip. Throw me over the top. Throw me at the top. Oh, heck yeah, dude. Sometimes the game really helps you out. Gives you that skip life that you always wanted. Alright, what are we going to find over here? There's that volcano. All right. Yeah, yeah, but buggy's right. We got it. All right, what is this? Is this another kind of portal? Are we going to be able to make it home after all? I, this level is called Ancients. Okay. Cool. Um, there's a note over here. The Alien artifacts. Study. It looks like the Russians were studying the work of the portal creators, the network of monoliths, huge power structures, and the number of walls and doors surrounding them. I still can't figure out how it all connects. Yeah, me and you both. We're going to power it up, though. We're going to power this up. He 
shoots, he scores! Alright, I bet there's another one of those like on the other side. I hope I didn't just waste that. There, There's a thing up there. We need to get up there. To figure out how to climb it. Wrong button. Get a flashlight. Alright, so we're gonna grab this and then put it up. This, that's my plan. Kobe! Am I supposed to hit that button? Something just happened. Something just happened. going on this is a cutscene I can't control anything all right I don't understand the point of that cutscene we're gonna go up to this portal thing oh can I walk on this light That is awesome. Is this gonna lead me home? How many days have passed in this game? Like two or three? It's like uh, we've got something on the right we need to investigate. There's a uh, another portal up there, kind of thing. There's something on that plateau. Let's try to press this button. I think we need to get that to come together. Come together right now. Over me. What 
What is this? I think we need to press the uh, the gold things together. That long one actually needs to come down here. I don't know what to do with the third black block, but I'm gonna try to push these together anyway. Two skinnier ones? I need basically I don't know what I need to do right here. I feel like I'm on the right path. But I don't I don't know how to get rid of this last block. I have an idea. I think I have an idea. I have an idea. All right, we're going to push this gold half past this, right? Yes, happy. Happy called it right when I saw it. Boom. All right. Yes. Excellent. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Nice. Woo. All right, we have a new light path. All right, let's not kill ourselves. Let's go down th the path safely. We did it. All right, so we're going to go back and around. We're going to walk across the light bridge. And it's going to be great. All right, how far... How far do you think we have left? I don't think a whole lot. But I just... I've been saying that for like two hours. This is so cool. I want to jump 
and figure out puzzles in real life. Okay, let's make our way around. Alright. There's got to be a portal that creates for us to go home. Either that or it should like let us start a family with Alita. Clearly this guy has lost his wife. And maybe he could just start a new family here. They could be like Adam and Eve. Alright, we've got something to read here on the right. Identity of the Ancients. Our scientists have made an amazing discovery today. We had previously believed the portal creators had abandoned this planet or had been killed by the root creatures. But we were wrong. The portal creators are merely an advanced form of the plant-like species that cover the planet. They must have colonized this world eons ago, bringing with them a variety of sister species to seed the planet and make it habitable. Actually, we believe the planet species are less an ecosystem of individuals and more like a dense global network. To be sure, there are some larger and some smaller species, but all seem to be able to communicate through the ubiquitous moss, the green fire. This is so vital to the life on the planet. Considering all this and how the roots can also mimic endless forms, we are clearly in the presence of a superior and extraordinary form of life. Alright, this light bridge, this is the right way, right? I thought it was going to be another puzzle here, but uh, apparently. So the Russians couldn't figure that out. I mean, one silly astro astronaut figured that out like on a Sunday afternoon. And the whole Russian brigade couldn't. <sighs> eh, whatever. New objective, you're low on oxygen. Find an oxygen supply before you pass out. Okay. Oops, wrong button. That looks like a portal. Did I just backtrack? I'm pretty sure I just went the wrong way. He really has plenty of oxygen. Don't let the game fool you. He only like starts running out of breath when you get right next to an oxygen tank. Oh, there it is. I see it. Never mind. Maybe he will die young. I've never run out of oxygen before. That's cool. Is that the the chick again? Where did she come from? What up, Alita? What up? I found my wife after searching for several days. She had fallen off some rocks while hiking and was lying unconscious in the woods near our house. I'll never forget. She was covered in leaves and there was moss or something beginning to grow on her toes. I thought of that a few years ago and it made me realize how temporary our lives are. Sooner or later, we have to let go. All this is just a dream, isn't it? That represents his, his dying ex-wife. What in the world? I'm kind of getting chills right now. No!
Well, this is nice. Com Air 0021 DD0088 GR blah, 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 blah. Uh, why are you searching for me here? You know where I am. You left me behind years ago. You can't find me now. We are too far apart in distance and time. Oh, poor astronaut misses his wife. Man, this is this is actually kind of sad. Let's go meet her. Alright, we can make it. Oh, we can jump again. Okay, we don't have infinite jets, but we have our extended booster back. Give you? me my wife! Give me my wife. I love her. Oh no. No. That was scary. This dream sequence is trippy. We're coming, baby. I don't know if we need to move this rock at some point. Eh, whatever. Alright, here we go. Oh, no! Well, sorry, lady. We tried. We tried real hard. And then we just crashed and burned. All right, take two. Where are we? All right, we're gonna do it this time for sure. All right, come on. It's hard to see through those trees sometimes, but uh, this is fantastic. I love this game. Alright, let's get a good jump this time. Okay, that wasn't me, that was the game. This is a cutscene, I didn't die. <coughs> Wake up! Alright. Now where are we? Man, this guy is having the worst coma dreams ever. This poor guy is in like a crazy coma or something. Tracking the monster. The a lot of blood. I hope she's still alive. The creature has the woman now, and she's clearly been injured. Drops of the woman's blood glow bright green on the cavern floor. I hope she's still alive, but I can't imagine how I'll be able to help her if that monster is nearby. Alright. And he's not worried about at all that he was just like in a nice green area. And now he's not. With floating islands. And what monster exactly are we talking about? This guy. This poor guy. He hit his head really hard. Alright. Um, do we cut right now? I think we're going to cut right. 
Nice, okay. Okay, there is uh, some portal stuff that we're going to have to put together. We got another puzzle up here. Yep. Oh, there she is. Alita. What are you doing, girl? Don't worry, I'll save you. Alright, you can only push that one halfway. Oh, there's the monster that I had no clue about until like just now. Maybe it's not really a monster, maybe it's just misunderstood. Oh. Um. Oh, her arms are now branches. Alright, now I guess maybe we're in the monster is the only thing I can guess. This is called Greenlands. Let's read what this is about. She saved Alita's sacrifice. She saved the entire planet. The woman I've been following is gone. Well, no, she's still here, all around me. Uh, having given herself up to the monster to save this planet, she willingly shared her life, saving Cure at her own expense. I like to think she's more at home here, merged with this strange and beautiful ecosystem, than in the company of a lowly human being such as myself. Whatever the case, she saved my life along with countless other beings on this planet. Sweet. Okay. So, the planet now, I guess, is back to life? I wonder if that means we can use the portal again. If the if the planet is cured, we should be able to use a portal and go back home. Granted, we'll end up in Russia, and they're probably gonna like interview us and things like that, but I think it's safe to say that technically, I think we should be able to get home now. I made a mistake jumping this way. Let's go back this way. Oh god, we went too far. Mistakes have been made. Rip! Rip! Oh, broken legs. Alright, where am I? Alright, let's go the right way this time. That was right there. Unless you guys see a different path for me to take, what I'm—I'll tell you what I'm doing. Uh, besides not doing what I want. All right, I need to slow my roll. All right. Jeez. Okay, so there's the one I keep landing on there. I want to get to the one to the right of it, and then from there I should be able to make it out. But uh, all of a sudden, the derp is real. The derp is real. Alright, we need to start dedicating. 
Happy Man helped us fill out that last puzzle, so we're gonna dedicate this to him. We're gonna go nice and slow, one at a time. Alright, this is for Happy Man. Alright, come on. I might just do the jump from here to there. Alright. I don't know how I'm on that. I don't know how I'm on that. Okay. Ah, uh, we made it. We probably made that like way more complicated than it ever should have been, but uh, we just gotta save. Come on, buddy. Get your get it together. Nope, okay. Nope, okay. It's weird it's like a vertigo feeling because the the flow of the this new plant life is going the opposite way of where you're walking and it really kind of messes with your mind. Alright, let's look off this cliff. Wait, should we go that way? Or that way? I think it's this way. Alright, we've got a few different things to jump on to get on the mountain to our left. Alright. That was a bad jump. That was a bad jump. Alright, take two. That was, it's harder than it looks. It really is. All right, should we go straight ahead or we should go to the right? We should play it safe and go to the right. Now, there's actually a path down in the canyon to the right. I almost want to go down and explore, but I really want to see what's at this satellite base. Oh, there's something for us to read here. So the other portal does lead back to Earth, but hundreds of years in the future. What? The port of this planet was a one-way transport mechanism. As we discovered following our initial arrival, we originally assumed it would work like any doorway, that we could return through the same portal device at our own convenience. This was not the case. Thankfully, we eventually discovered the second portal, the departure portal leading back home. This two-portal system was actually very efficient for transport purposes, and we developed our settlements appropriately to regulate travel back and forth as necessary. But what we didn't comprehend at first was the lost time encountered through the portals. While transport happens quickly, time on Earth and on this planet are not in sync. We soon realized a week on this world was a month on Earth. When the portals failed this time, disparity became great. When the arrival portal malfunctioned and killed so many people, we became afraid to use the departure portal to return to Earth. 
Over time, we started to see images we did not recognize on the other side. They were strange, towering structures, much more advanced than anything we'd seen before. Some believe the portal had recalibrated to the homeworld of the portal creators, but I knew the truth. The image in the portal were of Earth, but centuries in the future. Unfortunately, we never tested our hypothesis, given the completely unstable power reactions from the portal. It was far more likely that we would suffer a tragic transportation accident, like our comrades from home attempting to reach us. There were no volunteers, and eventually no further opportunities before the portal went dark and cold. In retrospect, I wish we'd taken our chances. Okay. So we need to do... What? Go this way. Got it. The clouds look good too in this game. Like, that looks real. Like, real. Real, real. Yeah, that was a bit of a twist. I like it. All right. Whoa, what is that? Oh, the portal's lit up, dude. We're going home. We're going, we're going back to the future. Thank you, Batcage. You the man. All right. Make sure, we're not missing anything before we get to this portal. Nope. Looks like we're good to go. Oh man, I'm really excited. So if that's what they were seeing in 1978, I wonder how far in the future Earth is now. Whatever time place this is. I mean, probably what, year 2100? Which means he's going to go back to what, the year 3000? What if he goes home and then Earth is a lifeless planet now? Oh, what a twist that would be. It's like a giant snail. Okay, here we go. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Let's go, baby. As I understand, you've kept your wife on life support. It sounds like you haven't been able to let her go. Actually, I did it for her. I want to give her every chance to live again. Even if I'm not here. Okay. We're back in a dream sequence. Or no, this is Earth? We're back on Earth? And I like the future. It looks nice. Lifeless Planet. Wow. By David Board, a Stage 2 Studios production. Thank you, David Board. Thank you, everybody, for watching. You guys have been great. Uh, if you're new to the show uh don't forget to hit that follow button for the rest of you freaking love your faces uh what a great kind of sunday afternoon game uh we started about 11 30 my time it's four o'clock so the game took four and a half hours and i feel like we did a decent amount of kind of derping around looking from side to side and so um man what a fun game you know, it's it's not one of those action games, but it's it's similar to like a Limbo or um, Inside, uh, which I really really did enjoy. 
I, I like those games from time to time. It's a good change of pace. And it's really relaxing. I'm going to go ahead and uh, keep this up through the credits. Yeah, 4 hours 31 minutes. Boom, baby. I like seeing all the names, like how many people it takes to make one video game. Like that's another thing that's like amazing about movies. Is like credits for movies just go on and on and on. Special thanks to his wife for her astronomical patience and support. This game was made in 2015. I actually thought this made a little bit earlier. Well, my wife, first of all, and, and Earth itself. All of it. She saw the beauty of this planet long before I did. You truly loved her. Of course. And if you lose someone you love, even 20 light years probably isn't enough distance to make you stop missing them. Man, that's true. That's that's real. Oh man, what a game. Wow. You know, people have a lot of emotional reactions to different things. Um and I'm not saying I didn't have some emotional ac actions to like life is strange, but the way that game ended for me personally hit closer to home uh for a man that loved uh a loved one and even far, far away, still missed her. Uh, wow. Great game. Great time. Thanks, everybody, for hanging out. Um, as always, guys, if you can't be good, be great. This is Heineman signing out.